I'm just loading mine up now. Okay, I'm now rolling. Awesome. You might want to reiterate that when some of the others come back, but... Yeah, I'll let him know. I'm going to go live anyway, so... I mean, you have... Uh, which... OP is in. I'm alt tabbed, so if anybody does join and is supposed <coughs> to be in my squad, just give me a shout when you've asked, and I'll come back in and say yes. Are we just pushing into chapel for the initial, or are we just going to hold for a minute? Yeah, yeah, no, just push into chapel because the game's already rolling. Was that your background? Yeah. I went before. Like, I don't know what time was speaking. Okay, I'll join next to spawn. So you can get in your squad. I've got item. You've got item? Okay. Ooh, Utah. Someone's already bitching about the squads. Yeah, well... We're, we're American, right? No, no German. Uh, yeah. German? Uh, no, okay. yeah, Krauts. That was the lowest side when I was looking to come in, so... Okay. Uh, stream's up, by the way, as well, so... Do we want to deafen? Yeah, we do. Um... Boy, Bushka. All right, so we will push along this canal. And How's command chat sounding? Uh, apart from the one guy bitching about there being locked squares, so. Nice. Push over to the left hand side. And I'm gonna put uh, a garrison with these supplies. Uh, push up that wall. on the garrison. Moving up. Coming back to you now. Just keep working your way forwards. I'm here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna move up in the tech cover. Going here.
Okay. You guys want to move up? If you said, okay, Imitech bound for Aaron bound, like we were taught, then we would have known. Alright, uh, in that case, Aaron bound. Tech bound. We're covering. Um, it's like you hold there. Um, us oh. two will bound up. We'll hold the location and then you can move up with us. You just have to. I've got your six covered. Hold the bound up. I'll move to that uh, fodder bin there. Orange Tracer sets uh, Americans. Okay, I'm in position. American tank 120, I think. Yep, uh, Sherman, I'm ping. Sherman medium. In the smoke. Just keep pushing left. There's no tank where you ping, Cobbler. There was. Nope, that was the middle of a field, Cobbler. There's literally a tank there. Well, that tiger will find it. Okay, I've got our left flank. Up past me. Moving. Contact. Contact on the bridge. I'm taking the express there. I'm going to find a place to set up. Just go prone and put the bullets down if you need to.
kill this little ditch and bring him back up. down. Yeah, it's going to be a full wipe. We've got no peanut butter, so we'll take that. <sighs> OP or garrison? OP or garrison? Okay, OP. We'll go for the OP. We're going to try and get in here before they can reestablish any sort of Garrisons or anything like that. Don't smoke out. Bullets incoming. Still in the chapel. And we're moving left side. Putting a mine down. Moving up. Chapel. Broken uh broken corner. Are you guys on the left hand side? had its ass lined up too. Can't get medic. Alright, thank you. That's an enemy recon. They'll spotted us now. Are you still wanting me to suppress the gap and ping? Uh, uh, yeah, you can do. God damn it. Push into the chapel. Thank you. 
Oh. Um, Leo, check your, uh, 12 o'clock. Thank you. Shit. Wrong that land, man. And the tech looks super good to see top up. I'm down, so if you get down, um, so Alright. Contact 068 behind the barbed wire. Okay, he's hidden again. It's like we need to adjust left. Uh, yes, I'm pushing that side. Yeah, I've just adjusted the OP inside the uh, compound. Contact. If you guys hold that side, I'm going to put a garrison in there. Supply drop coming down zero two nine. Roughly on ping. Actually, it's gonna be much closer. Probably more like here. What happened to the tech? What was that? What was, uh, what happened? We put him in chat. Uh, team killed by our artillery. Oh, lovely. Recon. Cold left, you want to go start building nodes? I'm fine with that. My uh, command is pestering for it. Okay. Okay, you Hey, uh, command, I'm gonna build you some nodes. How do, how do you like the sound of that? All right. Roger. Roger. 
Uh, if you want to drop me supplies somewhere, I can do it. Otherwise, I'll grab a supply truck. I'll drop some here, dude. Drop it in. All right. Thank you. Back. All right. Apparently, they're using the river beds. If you do it, so. I'm just kidding. Oh, it's already over and over again. I'm uh, being commander's bitch right now, just so you know. It's fine. That's what I asked you to build me. Yeah. Alright, we're going to try and move down towards Tom's Spot to support them. They are to our south. Plus it gets us out of this fucking artillery. Man, look out. Contact direct front. Right side of the road. I'm watching our west. Aaron, number two, can you just see me? Okay. I'm thinking if you already don't know what them, stay with them. No, but... So it's up to I just got killed to death. Right, right, but he might have moved over to the left. I think I've uh, called a clip. I'm He was on the second floor. I'm going to take if you can get into that house, see if you can set up overwatch. Thank you. The house you're at, or the ruins. House we're at. Uh, he may be moving around on my body, he might be moving around the left side of the house. Check for him flanking. MG, top floor ruins. He's uh, looking out at you guys.
south end road. South end road. Enemy MG somewhere south. Check the house. Crossing game. Nice work, medics. Well done. Drop mark. Tom, check northwest. Northwest. I'm big. Footsteps southwest. Keep your eye on that gap, that's where they keep coming over. Incoming. In contact the right side again. Contact one five four. I'm down. Right, my shot from further south across the field. Uh one five four south southeast. Behind the fence. He's right on top of me, I think. <laughs> American supply truck may come in. No, it's friendly. No, it's friendly, Matic friendly. Got a friendly truck here. Must have been I saw the top and assumed it was American. I'm gonna build a node.
Aaron going through the back of the double doors, uh, shooting at Rob's corpse, so when you get the other one through the back. Contact northwest of my position. No visual. Infantry moving up on ping, at least one squad. It's quite a, quite a lot of them. The swarming over there. Can you ping good there? And some north side. No visual. Um, check the, the check the house over here on ping. They're definitely behind... They're behind this little corridor here. Not corridor, wall. Oh shoot, we gotta go back anyway. Uh, medic, it's your call if you want to get me or not. I'm currently being suppressed, so I, right. I can't get to you. Okay, I'll respawn. Hey, He's on my body. body. To redeploy as a support, we're going to go back to Sunken Bridge. Yes. Let me go ahead and uh, use up my mines first.
Okay, swapping to support. Ammo carrier. I can't hear you, Aaron. Yeah, I can't either. Sorry. Is that better? Only, a little bit, yeah. only slightly. You may need to like go into your options and adjust your uh, volume up, like your transmit volume. <clears throat> We'll put one in over here. It's not great, but everything's open around here. Roger. Supplies in. Nice. I'm gonna take a look for yourself, somewhere to set up. Still pretty quiet, but a little bit better. There, it's up to 100%, so if I'm still quiet, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, you're you're better now. Yeah, it's better. Uh, it looks like this might be a good spot for you. There's also one other part, there's a man in the air, I don't want to go to sleep. Taking shots. In the I don't see. Probably east somewhere. I just got shot from uh, behind me. Uh, uh, enemy Sherman Jumbo seventy six on ping. Actual. Yep, sort of. All right. Got dinked. From the Do you know where that garrison come down? That I had even. It came down 150 from current from your position. To the south. Whatever way is 150. 150 is like That's south. Shot from south east. City got shot from our garrison. Yep. Yeah, I just got shot from behind again. Yeah, there's a BAR down there somewhere. Two Germans walking to a bar.
Got movement. Uh, zero four six. I'm ping. They are between our garrison and sunken. Roger. Imitech, how are you for ammo, bro? Come in, Imitech. Imitech? Alright. Ow. The shot from off to the left. I will tentatively make my way towards you because uh, no, Rob no, no, is gonna go in the middle of the field. Oh, you're. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's Mike. Not the Mike. On this roof? Bombing run. Did they get our gear some of that? All right, I'm rushing into this strong point. The contact on pink. There's someone coming into the trench on my body. Behind me. So, uh, about southwest. Making South, southwest. Downtown. Walking, Walking fast. fast. Place is fast. Do <laughs> Never mind. Go ahead and let go, guys. I'm down. Same fucking guy that was shooting at me before that was on the hedgerow that I pinged. American supply drop landed in point. We are defending, I believe, so just trying it into the OP. Hunker down. Oh, we were defending when I died. It's the same guy on the house. God damn it, I just barely missed the HQ spawn. We lost Sunken Bridge. Go, 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 go. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the way. It's in, boss. Him to come with me. I remember a pretty good spot for MGs on this map. They're already so attacking the apparently. Just got to get there first. Shit. Suppressing. <laughs> Left flank. Reloading. Covering which angle? Which space? Uh, about three, two, yeah, two. This spot may not be too good because there's a shaman right over there. 
but from here normally you watching can watching three cover four six like all the fields to the southeast and down that road where they like to push where the tank is pasty watch your left they're in the field to the left oh that's uh that's northeast check northeast I'm already dead, bro. Oh, okay. Medic! Crypt! <coughs> I need a medic! Yeah. Oh man, you were ugly before, but now you're all fucked up. Oh, you think they can put me back together? Hell no. This medic didn't give me a bandage. Well, it's supposed to be you. You good, ammo? Yeah. Alright, cool. Bro. I've got ammo for you. Need you were gonna fucking push this gap over this direction. Uh, at never mind, Tom right? is commandeering me. Roger. I'll take point. I'm gonna cover you with. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna cover you with the G43. Run the yep. rabbit and get across there. Going. To the left, go left, 320. Left, you're fucked. Oh, that's right. I took the from Ryan. I'm down, ammo. So you What's can up? Okay, so do you want me to go right for or medic? Uh, Adrian's already medic. So we'll rush Shit! That's fine. Uh, it's out of bounds. Oh, okay. I swear I saw a yank in there, but I guess he died. There's a guy who just run right over you. What the fuck are we getting shot at from? Alright. Just move up on your head. Going. There's okay. a, a tank down on the bridge down the road down here. Would not Mike, come to me. Would not recommend in? a pass on to Wardog not to come to me because this shit is suppressed as fuck. Whose squad are you in? Who's B? Big boy words. You're in Ryan's squad. Okay, fine. Fuck you, then. Contact 089, moving across the bridge, left to right. Alright, Cobla, move up. I'll pick out cover. Got a rifle. Roger. Don't come this way, Mike. This is a bad idea. Tank spotted, 044, on ping. Looks to be a uh, Sherman of some kind, unidentified. Yep, already pinged it. Roger. Dro drop a marker on it. Uh, I've, I've tried to hit smoke on him, but uh, okay. we've got to get some. Where from? Where from? South. I'm on my way. I'm suppressed. Was getting suppressed at the garrison, but I'm moving now. MG near the radar. I'm not just saying I'm on ping. He got my head. One by one ping.
Uh, Emitech, if you want to swap to AT, um, we'll try and do something about these tanks. There's no nearby spawn. Yeah, I'm going to have to use the uh, central HQ. And even there, everyone's just grouping up and doing nothing. Yeah, I think someone might have been team killing as well. Blame the Arties. I don't know, it sounded like a rifleman was just shooting people. There's a tank in our HQ spawn, so, you know, that's super fun. What? Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, I'm staring right at it. It's on my... where I'm at. There's a fucking AT in that supply truck when it should be a squad lead, oh, so we can get gears enough. The cab's super dead, dude. I think you were like, well, we just spawned. Is it kind of, huh? Well, um, GG's. Unless we miraculously start we'll capping here. I think that. Woo! That was something. It was. Yeah. Um, I think we did pretty fucking well. Ugh. We did pretty well, not the team. Rob fucked off at like halfway through and never came back, so I don't know if he's going to disappear now, but... Yeah, yeah, he's gone. He let me know. He's like, hey, I have to go AFK him. Right. Thanks for telling so, me, Rob. Yeah. Right, so I need a new medic. Um, I got you. I'm in you know, it. <laughs> you need to <laughs> rifleman. <laughs> you Jews, boy. Do we want to continue trying to run MG and Engineer? I know it didn't go very well, but we never really got chance to get, you know, on the front foot. Yes. We should try yeah, again, we'll I think. Alright, let's just stick with the same roles then. Um, was I'll there an extra? Swap. Um, you can squad lead this time if you want. Um, we got Mike in, so we lost Robin up Mike in. Yeah, I know, but I don't want Mike doing medic. I need him as a rifleman. I'm cool with shuffling out, I don't think uh, I'm particularly good at squad leading. You don't think what? I'm particularly good at squad leading. You're more capable than what you think you are, right? Yeah, I think you are as well. Can, uh, can I give it a shot? Yeah, if you want to. I mean, it's up to my subordinates if you guys think I would... Well, who's going to give me supplies? That'll that still be Ryan. Good. He's just going to swap with Cobra. Okay. Oh, Carantan. You okay, Carantan. Yeah. Okay. You're going to be medicing for both squads if if we're close enough. Can I be in your squad then? Uh, we are able yeah. company. Uh, somebody, um, somebody would have to switch over to Ryan's squad then. Okay, then don't worry about it. I'll just join Kobler's. Oh yeah, Kobler's squad now. I'm yeah, I'm up at the moment. Um. You said able, right, Kobler? Correct. Yes. I'm not in yet for those who are coming with me. Oh, someone took dog. Sad. Bastards. <laughs> At the war dog. Bastards. I don't feel like I did particularly good that game. Listen, it, it, you did fine. Like, you actually did fine. It's the same as I always say. Like you can only do what you can do, and you have to hope that everybody else has a good day. Um, oh, did, I'm almost. I'm okay. I made an open squad like a moron. Hang on. No, I'm first. almost level yeah. four medic. Everybody on that. Yeah, team. I made an open squad and half the fucking guys piled in. We should all be US, by the way, if anybody's somehow German. Fuck's sake. Your unit, by the way. Fuck's sake. It's done that thing again where I just get the fucking. Well, I get the loading screen and then I just get a picture of the city. Right. Um. Do you want me to make a squad so you can switch over real quick, Tom? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm just. I'm leaving that one and making a new one. All right, cool. Some guys jumped in the supply truck. Oh, I probably joined the commander spot because I'm a that, moron. That squad is another support. Now. Right, I've got How squad. Uh, I was in your uh, squad, so I was just. How's it finally working? Do I leave it <laughs> Right. 
Am I taking someone on a fucking supply run? You should be taking Luke, so... Yeah, but my game crashed. Oh, so no, Ryan is the answer. Hey, you um... need to go... Uh, NG to start off with and go and put some nodes down, Ryan, using the supply truck. You might have to request one at the start. People usually pinch them to put a fucking forward Gary in. There's still yeah. one at the centre spawn right now. Yeah, I was in it. I was sat in it waiting. Trying to come back, but that game looks like it's filling up quick. Okay, we're gonna go bottom HQ spawn. My team. Uh. I think oh, Rob's, Rob's just booted Hell Let Loose back up. I wish he'd make a fucking decision. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Quafix, go ahead and take that supply truck up to... Take it up to, like... I would say right about on the move marker. The US now, right? Yep. Which spawn, Tom? Say again? Which spawn? Bottom spawn. Although, to be fair, remember house rules are always your first life. Go wherever you want and just beeline towards whatever you want to do unless you've been given specific instructions already. And and usually that's plainly charging in as an AMG is probably not a good idea, so... Mm, no, probably not. What were you saying, Rob? Um, I'm going to drop out now because I'm only going to be around for half hour or so before I have to go and get me shit ready. Okay, so no worries, mate. Back later. If not, see you around. See you later, mate. Bye all. <laughs> Bye all. <laughs> Now you just had the warm up period. Yeah, dude, I was dead asleep. And all of a sudden, I was just like, oh shit, I have to go play. So I jumped out then and ran over to the computer. <laughs> Fucking rookie. <laughs> I know. Alright, um. Alright, where's my support at? Yeah. Uh, if you can stay there, and I'm spawning on that Gary near you. I will be out. I'm always yeah, out I'll be, my uh... I'll be deafening up as soon as I get a chance to stop. It's been a long run. Okay. We usually play using the in-game comms, Mike. Okay, I need yeah. uh, I need someone to go support and um, jump on the outpost real quick. Uh, There's some fucking guy in it. Go away. I'm deafening up. Okay, so... Um, Clawfix. Copy that. Go ahead and drop supplies in like C7, and then you can build the nodes here? in B7. Like no, as not. long as they're in supply range. There's a, there's a garrison they ahead have anyway. To be, so uh, in front of the line. You should be able to drop supplies there. And then just go ahead and make a full set. I need someone to drop me supplies. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, you've got it. Uh, Luke's on that set. Okay, good, uh, good. So I'll drive this down to the south and then I'll put another one in. Um. No, there's no idea. Yeah. Over there. Yeah, you can. Uh, okay. In that case, go ahead and take it north. I'll say move mark there and then. Resource nodes there. But ideally, you want the resource nodes to be on our side of the line. But you can only drop supplies on their side of the line. Hey, uh, Aaron, can I get you to redeploy as a support? Real I'm quick? in Discord, Cobler. What are we doing? Okay, sorry. Uh, can I get you to redeploy as a support real quick? I can shoot you in the head if you want. No, I'm the only medic for both squads, so no. Well, I just need a support long enough to drop a supply crate so I can get a garrison up and then you can go medic again. It, it's up to you, it's up to you. No, I'm not doing it. Alright, maybe. I'll just radio command and ask for a supply drop. Wait, one. driving on this game takes play. Command uh, Able requesting supply drop on 
B7 numpad 2. We have no to commander. Oh. I mean, got a fucking commander. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Wrong chat, sorry. Let me transport truck at light tank, Mark Baker. Okay, give me one moment here. I'm going to deafen. Okay, uh, let's get everyone to move up. We're going to have rendezvous with Tom. Dear company, please, uh, can you update the time mark? We are heading there. What well, squad? It's Tom anyway. Hotel. Oh, squad. All right. Uh, by the way, Clawfix, you can you can do it wherever you see fit. Yeah, and no, I'm just looking somewhere with a bit of concealment so they're not extremely obvious. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, supply truck just dropped supplies on thing. Yeah, they're probably going to try and get a garrison set up over there, and I frankly don't blame them. Actually, Ed's going to be an engineer. He might be trying to make notes. Okay. Reserve markets for uh, reference. Okay, I'm not going to be able to put Gearson in here. Hello. Hello. Hey, you you the the There's already a Garrison like in front of derailed train. It's under fire, but like we can go defend it or put another Garrison on the other side of derailed train or something. Yeah, that's. Probably what I'm gonna do. Uh, there was a guy behind me who flanked me. He got Birch and then me. Birch tried to warn me, but it was too okay, late. I'm, I'm coming around then. Where's he at? Uh, he should be. Destroyed at Baker Gear somewhere. Behind. He's gonna be somewhere like on the defend mark. Check the defend mark. I'm about to come up behind him. Cobbler. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how, but I seem to have a spot if Erin still wants to switch. Uh, okay. I will let her know. Thank you. Hey, uh, Aaron, Tom just radioed me. He says he has a spot in case you want to swap squads. You're welcome to. I think Aaron is less than enthused to be part of my squad. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either, man. Just dropping this truck off back at one of the HQs. By the way, for those of you who don't know, War Dog and I know each other. I think that's pretty obvious, man. We need a Gary on the derailed train. Working on getting it up right now. I'm dropping some supplies near you too. If you want to put up a garrison around there. Roger that, I'm command. I'll, uh, I'll swap squads on my next life when after I die. Okay. Uh, Aaron says she will swap squads on her next life. Copy that. Uh, enemy recon plane overhead. What was so funny? The guy that shot you jumped over the wall. Nice. Well, look, you get no other one. Uh, the 
Yeah, hold up. Thank you. Sorry, can you say that one more time? It's really loud. Can you? Sorry. Oh, look, I need to. I need to go back to base, I think, and grab some supplies. Hey, so does that mean I'm shooting you in the... Oh, fuck. Book out. 76 at middle, yep. Yeah. Oh! God damn it! They're, uh, they're in behind the point. I was just about to get a garrison up, and I got popped in the fucking head. Alright, and send it a recon plane over our point and their point. So uh, take the truck. Whoever, whoever's in that Stuart behind rail train, be advised there's infantry danger close. Okay, um... Uh, Charlie squad, we destroyed are you going to take the supply truck at top spawn? Again. They might be oh, wait. The same place. No, that was Burge. No, that was that. Spawn transport truck. We have a enemy Panther coming from 8-7, going north. Did you want to use the transport truck? Well... Are we gonna walk there? I'm gonna get an OP in. I just want on the garrison in uh, Bravo Six. I'm calling a bombing run on their point. You guys can cover me up. <clears throat> By the way, excellent work getting those notes up. Holy shit, that's a fucking... Okay, um... Abel's garrison mark is actual for an enemy airhead. Their entire fucking team just spawned on that. Your garrison mark? Okay, everyone, heads up yeah, yeah, yeah. that way. Uh, they fanned out by now. They're gonna be in cover around it. Yeah, they're putting a bunch of smoke on it. I dropped some more supplies uh, south of derail train. If anybody can get a garrison up over there. <clears throat> uh, I'm working on it at the moment. Yep, copy that. An enemy Bentu was trying to cross the railways, so be aware. Anyone there? All right, I'll mark. Advice suite for garrison around that airhead. If they're smart, they will. Forward, forward squads, keep working with your uh, support guys and try to get some garrisons up along the line. Okay, sorry, I was uh, I had to call out that airhead that just dropped in there. Um, uh, I'm gonna be trying to get a garrison up south of derailed right, train squads, currently. Uh, focusing on That's what command wants me to do. Rest squads keep pushing on train station. I'm gonna work on getting an airhead up soon. Able is uh, Oscar Mike too, south of derailed train, gonna get a garrison up. Perfect, thank you. <clears throat> Other than that, just keep me uh, posted on if you need anything. Roger that, much appreciated. Okay, uh, everyone in my squad. Go ahead and uh, sweep for enemy spawns. If you see any, call them out. Charlie, I'm thinking I might drop some supplies near your uh, outpost and then time that with a. Uh, Imitech, sincere the uh, MG. You can go ahead and take up a defensive right. position in building or something and uh, try and get a nice field of view you over can, the uh, rail train. Put supplies it's currently being capped. Sweep well. There's a lot of map over. Yeah, I know. Problem is, I'm not over there at the moment, so I couldn't tell you. Are coming, and I'm gonna get the airhead up soon. Okay, outpost is in. There's only in three of us now. Yeah, I know. Because uh, Aaron swapped. There's an enemy garrison right where you're dropping supplies. Oh, shoot, sorry. I thought that was your mark. No, it's the it's the parachute market F8. Yep, I see it. Hey, uh, hotel, Abel. Um, we've only got 
three people in our squad, so if you want to send someone over, feel free. Yeah. Alright guys, you're getting some good pressure on them on the line. Keep moving up. Enemy tank on C8. C8, enemy tank. C8, 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 I might just... Uh, I just took out. In this I just took out a recon squad where I'm at, and uh, his buddy got me. Not a recon squad, but spotter. I marked your body. Roger. You. Thank you. Yeah, Bravo marked his enemy recon team. I did not get their outpost. Supplies coming down over here. A Charlie squad, they just spawned on that garrison, so I watch out. Also, your OP is hot north. Alright, Baker squad, I have supplies coming in on your uh, location. My aim is dog shit. The airhead. I think it's so gone. Supplies are coming in. In F8. I want two defensive squads to stay on the point. The rest of your squads move over to the airhead. Establish a garrison here, there, Bravo. Luckily, they have no idea where I'm at. They're throwing grenades in the wrong spot. Able Hotel. Able Copies. I'm right, going to move up to you and uh, I want to get his heads together about stuff. Roger. Um, yeah, I've got Recon Squad in close to me right now and I'm kind of with my pants down. Alright, thank you Bravo for establishing that garrison. I have Recon coming over to the points too, momentarily. Offensive squad start shifting. We might train station in the Okay, the garrison and airhead is secure for now. I can use a squad on the airhead, they're coming to it. Yeah, guys, are defending it by myself. We don't need this many squads defending. Looks like light for the enemy infantry presence near uh, the defensive point. That recon squad has an outpost in here somewhere. I'm sweeping for it. Copy that. <clears throat> Evil. We have an enemy garrison still on Baker Mark. Start redeploying to that new garrison and the airhead. Otherwise, we just wasted them. Uh, tank just destroyed the airhead and garrison is overrun. Copy that. Guys, make sure you're talking to your squads. You gotta redeploy on those airheads, otherwise, it's wasted resources. Yeah. What you got? Uh, Tiger. trying to find their fucking outpost right now. I don't see it. I but they spawned in over here. It's definitely somewhere over here.
Okay, uh, my squad, if you want to regroup on me, I'll put an outpost in. Alpha dropping supplies by your position. Uh, roger that command. It's going to be in hot. Still contending with this recon squad. That's fair. Yep. Focus on the recon squad, but if you can get a garrison up down there, do it. Roger. Charlie, you're also in the area. I see you. Regrouping isn't great when you've already fucked off across the field, Cobra. Yeah, sorry. I'm just hunting for a, a recon squad's outpost right now. Like, they've been constantly spawning and threatening us over here. Okay, um... Imitech, go ahead and grab, like, this position if you can. And, uh, see if you can cover across the field. Uh, I can't cover much across the field. Copy. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move up. Got friendly 76 over here. Alright, those supplies are up. Looks like how are you in the area? Can you build a garrison here in your position? If there's a window in that uh, okay, house, I'm going so nice to see if we can south. get set up in there. Perfect, thank you, bravo. Alright, move marker to your position. Guys, start moving south that way. Follow up the Uh, Cobra, in Tom's words, can yep. you fucking wait for the rest of us for a Perfect. second? Yes. Doubling back. How can you get uh, Imitech, go ahead and grab that out. building up there. Oh shit, where, where from? I don't know, because there was... Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I see that. Coming in, tank, watch out. On my mark. How coming right at me. Supplies. Can you put that garrison down before you advance? That'll support our uh, defense. Josh... Josh Arks. There's yes. a panther on my body right now, I marked it. Go be, go be. Command, I'll try and go for it. Uh, we gotta put a garrison in. I'm gonna do that real quick. No, Cobra, what? I've been trying to put a garrison in since the beginning of the game. Alright, fuck it. Why not? This way. Everybody this way. I'm sorry, but Command has been wanting garrison here for like two or three minutes now. No, I know that, and I shouted at you, but then I realized how important it was. All right. Why the fuck he didn't just tell me to do it? I don't know. He's been telling you to do it. He's been saying, "Hotel, build a garrison." Oh, that's or how? Bad. I missed it. Yeah. Sorry, command. I missed you uh, giving me uh, those orders. We'll get that garrison in. Thank you, Hal. No problem. Oh look, a box of supplies. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the, I was trying to catch up with you because uh, the whole uh, MG team engineer thing's not really working. I think yeah. it's in part because the enemy team is pretty competent at flanking and our team's pretty incompetent at everything else. <laughs> so we can't really get time to build fucking defenses. So I, we need a more aggressive setup. How many okay. have you got? Three. I've, got, I've got three six. currently. Yep, and you have six. So we've got a total of nine. So we do five and four, um, which means one of my guys is going to have to volunteer to go back to Cobler's squad. But we're going to be switching the roles up. Um, I want Garands, BARs, and submachine guns. Call it before you switch your class, but I don't want to be dragging MGs around anymore. They're not useful. Okay. We, we're not getting the opportunity to deploy them. All right, let me radio Imitech then, because he's pretty far away. All right, uh, Imitech, on your next life, go ahead and swap off of uh, MG. Tom is over um, here that saying that... Um, Luke. You may he not wants to get be uh, very some bars as an engineer and grants. I mean, if you want to stay on it, you can. So whatever you're comfortable mines, with. But we're not I recommend you go defensive. like assault or something. So it's up to you if you want to switch. Well, if I'm done, yeah, I'm going to get Uh, we're um, from Imitech. Imitech just went down. Have... I don't know from a lot. Copy. Yeah, yeah, that's actually, that's great. Yeah, do that. Do that on your next slide. Aaron, you're fine as a medic. Um, Mike's fine as a rifleman. Mike, Mark, you've got 
When you guys are ready for a push, let me know and I'll time it with a, uh, a bombing oh, what, cross, cross. what class are you going to be switching point. to? Uh, I need something other than an MG, like BAR, submachine gun, or Garand. Yeah, I'll go it's up to you. Okay, cool, that works for me. You'll still be covering the squad then, but you'll be more mobile. Uh, yeah. What's Imatech doing, Cobbler? Well, he was dying a second ago, and I told him to rotate off, so he's probably going to do that, because it's Imatech. And he knows what he's doing. Oh. Where's that run? An Imatech. Alright, Imatech, uh, I'll post this in. Darren's just down there. Nice down the room. <laughs> By the way, command, I mean, in case you're wondering, Hotel and I are, uh, we're coordinating at the moment. Uh, I'll get back to you on that, sir. Alright. Alright. Uh, so, Cal, cycle off to, do we, I need to do an OP? Yeah. Alright, push, push up and get security on that side, guys. Security on the side that Mark was at. Look out, we got contact close. Hey, medic, medic. I'm coming, hang on. Thanks. Alright, use his face, watch his facing. Ryan's got contact on the other flank. Suppressing. Smoke out. Switch to the other side. We're losing the other side. Cheesy, watch it, mate. Watch left, watch left. Uh, command, this is Abel. We got contact over here, so we're going to clear them off before we push up. Alright, copy that. Danger close. Whoa, yeah, I fucking see that. Uh, India Outpost Mark is gonna have a shit ton of them. Uh, check India Outpost Mark. India Outpost Mark has, uh, multiple squads moving. Medic. Am I gonna make it? Oh, I'll take a bandage if you got it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Gold star for you. Enemy, uh, enemy Puma going to hotel and able outpost. Watch out, guys. Uh, Charlie Light Vehicle Mark, it's an enemy Puma. Any, uh, bombing run coming in over their train station. Heads up, move in afterwards. Lots of fucking infantry on able Mark. Um, actually, command, I would yeah. advise bombing run in that area. That's uh, too late, it's already going over train station. I can give you a strafe in that area, though. Um, hold up. Hold up, hold up. I'm, I'm communicating the command. Strafe coming in. Is that more important than the note? You're in line. We have straight both of their backup gears. Huh? Thank you. We need to move the enemy. There's an enemy OP in this wheat field on the other side. Okay. We need to get that destroyed. That circle, um, yeah. We'll cover you guys if you, you want to take your squad forward. Yeah, we'll do that. 
Uh, let me right. radio. Mark, Mike, hold this All right, uh, this Imitech, yours. Lawfix, form up on me. Uh, there yeah. is an enemy outpost in this wheat field in front of us. We're going to move in and take that out, and Tom's going to cover us. Right. Sorry for the delay there, Cal. It's pretty intense. Um, I'll put an outpost in. What? Go for Kobler. You, you want me to push up into this wheat field, right? No, I don't. This wheat Wait. field. That's why I said come Oh, this me. wheat field. Okay. Listen, the enemy gas in that wheat field is gone. Fucking hell, fire. Oh. <laughs> right, Mike and Mark are going to watch that gap. I'm over here, Mike. Like, okay, Baker, cool. Mark. You're over there. Right, see that tree in front of us? Some guy just said the guy's bum. The hell is this well, not the... Be, but... I fucking chose? Fuck me. What are you shooting at now? No, no, Cobra, there's a, a, a fucking have a guy out there. I got I'll switch it. over to what I should be oh. with the automatic oh. rifleman when I die. Okay. See the tree? Right, Bearing 333. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Yeah, they have a garrison there on the same spot. I don't spot know where that is. Let me find them. 310. 310. Offensive squads. Redeploy onto the airhead. Thank you, Adam. It's going to be the right-hand side of that gap, transitionary mm -hmm. space up there. Cobbler, do yeah. you see the tree? I see multiple trees. The one at 330? Oh that one on three Yes, three. I see it. I'm looking right. at it. If there's still a garrison, it was past that in the wheat field. Roger. So, if so we will cover you from here. You take your squad forward, and then you might want to hook around towards where that blueberry medic is and make sure there's nothing over there as well. Okay, Imitech, Clawfix. Cal, form up. That shit needs to I'll take point. In future, in. Right, Luke, come here. Luke, watch this gap. Work. Hug the wall. Okay, I'm covering. That's a friendly tank in the field. Okay. Uh, go ahead and grab this wall here, and uh, I'm gonna move up. Guys, airhead is up. Use that to redeploy. I'm bounding up. Say again. I said I'm bounding up. All right. I'm in tech cal. Keep covering. That's good. Really good. Yeah, we are being attacked. Alright. Uh, Imitech and Cal, go ahead and move up. Uh, Klofix and I are covering. Alright guys, this is a good push on train station. Keep it up. Keep the pressure up. All right, yeah, Cal Nimitech, you can go ahead and move up that way. I'm gonna inch forward here so I can cover you. Oh, I mean, Nimitech had an issue jumping over a fence. Like there's an invisible wall stopping us. Oh, that sucks. Okay. We're circling back to you. So, um, what we're gonna do is go two and two. Uh, Cal, you're with me. You and I are going to cross this road uh, into the field. Tiger coming into train station from the railroad. That and, uh... Fawfix in the tech cover. What you got, him in tech? To our southeast, there's a knocked out problem up there, but in the corner of this field, the tank's to race right, on. Good job, guys. Starting the spawn there. might actually be in the field. You think so? I mean, I can radio, uh, Tom. Yeah, let me do that. Hold up. Hotel Alpha, a possible enemy garrison near Alpha Mark. 
Copy that scene. There is a, a big push in this direction. The best way would be the enemy, to enemy Garrison and Charlie and Mark as well. It's a lot of things to aim at. Oh yeah, guys. Let's get okay. some um, back to the train station. Looks like they're coming up the middle there. Cal, let's go. Let's go ahead and cross this road, Cal. Um, Clawfix, cover us. Imitech, you can keep looking that direction if you want. All right. Box squad and squad. Uh, shore up around the rail train. Okay. Rent. Oh shit. Where from, Imitech? Straight ahead. But it was my fault. It was my fault. Yeah, you was on top of the Greyhound. What's going to ask you? There, I saw his flash. Get. Alpha infantry mark is actual. K squad, I dropped some supplies uh, behind you near the line in your area. You can get the garrison around there. Okay, stand by. I'm putting in the uh, OP. OP is in. Nemote did himself no favors by standing on top of the Greyhound, so. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to say it, but yeah. I got tank on. On. Eight. Okay, copy that. Alright, I think we're good. I don't see the enemy spawn over here, so um, let me radio that out. I think enemy spawn's enough in the cornfield somewhere. Uh, command, Alpha, we are clear of contacts. Uh, no enemy spawn spotted cutting. on my position. Perfect. Can you yeah, we kind of noticed. Uh, say again. Move up to support offense. Copy. Half squad, be advised. Item, enemy infantry marker. I'm pretty sure they have a garrison out there. I'm dropping yeah. some okay. your path. Alpha New squad. orders from Get command. Uh, we're going to support the offense. for the other two to catch up. Yeah, we should. We can go, cause one entire group. Look, I'm not used to uh, this, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> also, oh, oh shit, contact. 148. Alpha Mark is uh, actual for at least one enemy squad. Be advised. Ooh, I just got shot near the. Possible enemy OP, Hal Marker in the farm. Okay, I need to bandage. Yeah, I've done that myself. Because I got zipped as well. Okay, uh, everyone good? Yeah, let's move up then. Uh, Clawfix, go ahead and cover from there. We're going to, uh, I'm going to take point. I'm going to move up to around here. And we'll see if we can go for a flank. Okay, this is good spacing exactly what uh, Tom was telling us to do. Okay. Um, go ahead and form up here on this ledge. Hold fire for now. Holy shit, that's a tiger. Can I shoot it? No, do not shoot the tiger. Command, Alpha. Uh, tiger? Enemy tiger... I'm ping actual. Looks to be moderately damaged. No. Pushing up through the field. Okay, local AT units, get that, get on that tank. Marcus actual. He's just come to a stop. Uh, garrison behind the real train. Well, we can shoot the crew members that jump over. Heads up! I got shot there earlier. It's reversing. Do they always jump see. out of the side? Uh, yeah, depends what so. side you get in, I think. Maybe not. I'm I down. think it's Why always on one side. Point. Yeah, it's fine. Let me get the outpost in again. I'm gonna try and put a smoke on him. 
so wait one. Yeah, go wait until you get rid of it. Outpost is in. Spawning in as a tank. Tank has repositioned, mark its actual. Recon going up over you guys, Charlie and uh, Alpha. All of the okay. Uh, we have smoke cover, so this is good. Uh, Imitech, his ass should be facing us, so if you want to put one up there. Uh, in your ping. Yeah. Tank just rolled through everybody up here near Ju uh, Juliet's. Yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've got an AT. Okay, he's done for. Thank you. Looks like Tank is dead. Someone else got him. Uh, one of the randoms. Okay. That was a good call going AT though, I'm intact. Alright, K-Squad, those supplies are coming down. Get that garrison up as soon as you can. Alright, let me radio Tom to see what we're doing here. Is my fucking map button not working? My map button doesn't work, the fuck? Okay, my map button stopped working. So, um, hotel. Uh. <sighs> Sorry. Disregard. Gary has derailed us down. Yeah, can squads in that area work with your support guys? Get another garrison up in that area. There's also a support. Okay, there. so this area looks clear in front of us. Let's go ahead and rendezvous with Tom again. Uh, he's going to be south. Alright, smooth. Uh, Clawfix, last man. Good. Uh, we should be able to just mound up to here. Commander, can you spawn us a tank on the southern garrison, please? Copy that. Okay, my squad push up to the fence. Good. Okay, um, I'm going to take point. Oh, I just took out that recon outpost uh, that was harassing us. It derailed. Should be okay now. One dead. Although they may be still in the area, I'm putting up a new one. So that's up. Getting around, getting Run. Dead, then. Oh. Oh, it was it was Imitech who killed me. Enemy tank on Charlie Mark. <laughs> <Sorry. the> street. <laughs> now you're flank. good. He cannot advance with the flank, unfortunately. I'm gonna get shot okay, with that. We are the to the street of four. I, I did I did punish before your name came up because I didn't know it was you and I thought it was like a tank or something and it was intentional. So. Same. Alright, uh, just wait to punish until you see a name. As to get a, uh, new Moving up. Mordok said there was Germans in here and I was going to see if yeah. we could get an AT round in the building. Yeah, the it's got quite a steep arc. Or not steep, but there it's enough of an arc to where Thank you. It doesn't travel in a straight line. I can hear a tank. Uh I can hear it too. Sounds like a German tank. Not on the map, so it's enemy. Yep, I think that AT just nailed it. Yeah. Okay, my, my uh, map is working again, that's good. Cobra! I don't know where the fuck he's going. Cobra copies. Let's push up to the main road and then push north. Roger. Roger. House squad on me. Let's go. Push to that main okay, road. Okay, uh, we're going to cover you as you move and then we'll come in next.
All right, Quafix, come on up. Don't need two of you to go. There's two medics there. Yeah, the recon squad's moving up to that other back garrison. In, uh, Quafix? Is that B6? Okay. Heads up, it's hot. Come on, Ryan. Come on. Come on, boy. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lesson for your name. Hotel, we're moving up on you now. Marked. Marked. Can't hear you from that distance. Well, uh, Take Abel in and flush him out. Roger. From somewhere. All right, uh, we're gonna we're gonna head in and flush it, flush him out. Go ahead and flush him out here. Can you ping? Yes, it's gonna be like over okay, here somewhere. Some we need to start placing some more defensive garrisons. Try going out. Times two. South, direct south. Got him. Nice. We got one guy who is directly south of me. You two secure that, make sure there's no one else there, no one. Uh, Imitech, do you see any uh, spawn points? Medics get somebody else before they come and get your gobbler. Roger. Uh, Evan's on the way. Hold on. I'm hanging in there. Hit the deck. I'm down as well. Enemy to your 70 degrees. points up here. Thank you. Enemies in the orchard, be careful. Did one of you throw a grenade over? No. Yeah, where should I throw it? No, I was asking if you did because of that. No, no. thank you. Himself. And there's your selfie uh, message uh, from Medic. Yeah. Alright, uh, hotel, we've got decent uh, position push back. here. Guys, we need more garrisons up. We're gonna lose this if we don't get some more garrisons okay. up around the defensive point. That is the name of the game here. Zero zero seven north. Uh, I got no visual. I just got hit. Well, from staying move. All right, uh, Cal, let's get out of here. I was working on getting another garrison in. Thank you, Hal. Going in now. G Squad, there are some supplies in your area. I'm going to build another defensive outpost around the rail train. Defensive garrison. Could have told me it was last man. 
Oh, sorry. I'm technically last man here. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where we're going to go. Um, you know what? Let's go defend the rail train. So, uh... Actually, hold up. Hey, hey uh... Mind up. Hotel Abel, what's the plan here? Come link up with me. I'm like two feet down the street. Roger. Okay, uh, we're going to form up. Yeah, form up on top. Guys, are we about ready for another airhead? Let's do this in a coordinated fashion this time, because the last two have been wasted. Nobody's responding. Hold up. We need to move yeah. down this main street. I want to put up an airhead by uh, O Outpost, south train. of the train station. Understood. We'll take point. Stop, 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 stop. We have the okay. the garrison uh, on the two and two. train station. Or Cal, east you're with me. Perfect. So you got the automatic, Cal? Uh, we're going to push up to this panther here. Setting up the airhead now. It's by the O outpost location. D e squad. H All right, squad, covering. C squad. Redeploy to that. Should be able to get around them. Hotel and Abel are trying to push down this main road to uh, cut off the German axis of attack on derailed train. Okay. Keep focusing on that. We need someone checking this gap at the, the uh, east where I'm pointing. Airhead. Copy that. Enemy tanks south of derailed is still up. I guess for now I'm covering that gap. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Imitech Klofix. They're my squatties. Okay, both of you push up, please. Okay, Imitech Klofix, uh, go ahead and move up to that corner. 340. Alright, guys, we lost the rail, so we need to ship Okay, back good. Uh, Cal, you and me, we're gonna head up to that pile of rubble. Uh, actually, wait, wait for him in tech. Fucking okay, let's let's go then. Offense, move back to farm ruins. Charlie squad, able squad, H squad, redeploy. Hotel copy. Moving. Contact. On infantry mark. One uh one unit. Hang it. Most of us don't can see. Probably over here somewhere now. Contact on this position. Roger. Uh, copy that, Clawfix. I got headshotted from somewhere. I think, uh, down the road. Oh, fuck, we don't have an outpost. Ryan, down, down the end of the corner of the buildings. So Ryan, okay, down the roadside, like corner of the buildings. Looks like we got the enough people defending uh, farm ruins right now. Well, I just shot him at point blank range and didn't kill him, so that's always nice. Alright, um... Yeah, Imintech and uh, Klawfix are still live up there. Granted. Granted. 
Is that a panther on ping? Alright. There might be one about on ping. Yeah. Able Mark is uh, actual for enemy panther was spotted by my unit up there. Okay, I'm going to try and get an outpost in on Farm Ruins at the moment. We just had defensive bombing run. Uh, what we need to do is set up an Lock offensive carry. garrison and start uh, pushing up towards derail train. But we have to fortify Farm Ruins first. Fuck. That was an enemy bombing run. Medic. Hey, uh, hotel, if you can get your medic on me. Okay, never mind. I think someone else is coming for me. Cheesy lad, medic. Cheesy lad, come back! I need a medic. Bro, I need a medic. I gotta set up this garrison. Thank you. Oh, you're like 12 meters away from me. Hey, uh, whoever's in that Sherman medium, check your six. You've got infantry crawling up your flank. Alright, supplies coming down near farm ruins for a uh, garrison just in the north of it. Okay, hold up. The pump it's extremely down. fucking this dicey. Is Okay, I'm gonna put an outpost in. Okay, outpost is in. It's not an ideal placement, but it'll have to do for now. Sherman! Sherman! Are you able to get up a garrison in your area? Left side in the smoke. Sorry, right side in the smoke. There are supplies right next to you. Yeah, we're working on it. Uh, there's danger close here. Pretty sure there's German armor in the field to my right. No idea exact position, but hotel marker is a prop. Command Able Garrison is up. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get an angle up here. Let's try and watch this. I'm out of bandages and probably going to die. Yeah, I got hit. I believe we've got a tank to the inside of this hedge. Enemy tank? Mm -hmm. Uh, see if you can ping him and I'll mark him. Because I mean, there's a friendly Sherman on the railway line as well. Yeah. Sounds like it's over here somewhere.
Howe's new tank marker is accurate. Panther tank in the field to the right of uh, the spawn as you move towards farm ruins. Copy. Dog, I'm dropping supplies closer to you now. Purple here, so there. Shit. Where's that from, Cheesy? Oh, I dropped a grenade. Look out. Just thank the German. Okay, nice. Hey, squad, how's Did it they smoke a gas? Yeah, this German's pretty much on the garrison. No peace. Copy that. Okay, they've spotted the they've spotted the Gary and they just wiped like half of our spawn. Oh, support guys, so we should be good. Cool. All right, thank you. Okay. All right, so we need to fall back and defend now. Obviously, uh, you, we're dog. probably fucked, but we're gonna try. No worries, man. Oh, there's no probably it's, about uh, you know. infantry, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. This, a team, we just, this guy's a team overall, we just suck. Commander we requesting a... Yeah, 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 because they're actually they're not that bad. bad. We're not... Fuck. I think there's a full of E-Tag. Yeah, it was, yeah, uh... Recon vehicle. Uh, somebody's got to move one of the, the vehicles in that area. I can't see They've got to have a garrison up here. They're pouring across the train track. Copy, we're going to move it. Spawn an OP, not in the garrison near the OP, because the garrison itself is covered by an MG. Yeah, I'm flanking them, but there's a lot of them, so it's I'm uh, moving slowly to make it seem. I didn't even realize our OP was still active. Okay, we've moved the vehicle. We just shot the MG. I think he's It'll stay, it'll stay active until somebody gets too close to go cool with. Yeah, I know, but I thought that point in order to I just got reach. killed, I just got killed at the OP. Okay. Well, I'm down Sundays currently. Somebody's jumped over onto the railroad and seen me. I need a medic over here. He might be down, I'm not sure. They've got an MG also covering their garrison. All right, but it's up here in this train track. Right. Contact to. direct front, direct okay. front, Decent coming towards my team. body. Yeah, thanks, squads. Appreciate Look out. It. He's on top of me, he's past me. Oh. Okay. Alright, Tom, waiting on that earful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least you know you're getting one. No. Um, to be fair, there was a couple of points where the squads got together on that south side where we worked really well. The fact that we had, and there were blueberries mixed in, but if you think about it, we basically got to the point where we've got two full squads. Um, that's 12 of us plus blueberries. So anywhere that we push together, as long as we push sensibly, there's not a lot the Germans can do as long as we aren't fucking Banzai charging across a field into three machine guns. Yeah, but now. there was a lot of that game where we weren't together. Like we need to prioritize when we're rolling two squads that the squads stick together and do one objective. I got All two right. kills that game. Nice. Good job. I got three, three or four. In fact. Have we got 12 now? One, two, three. We have four, 11. Five, six, oh, fucking hell, we're close. So it's six and five then. Um, Kobler. Yeah. We Did you hear what I was saying? Uh, you mean just now? <laughs> no, fucking three hours ago. <laughs> uh, when we were doing training, yeah. No, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Christ. What? Fuck me.
Did you hear what I just said? Yes. Right. So can we try and keep what you just on? Oh no. What? Great. We get to see. I'm out. No, fuck it. Stick with it. It's like crazy determined. Like, oh no. I know. Can we stop upsetting the man with a heart issue, please? This this is gonna give me a heart issue. All right, we're Bravo Baker. Are we Germans? We should yes. be. We are. We are. Right. Yes. Okay. Um, so God, we're defending. I hate the car 98. Yeah. Well, um, tough shit because you're using that either way. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mike, if I you think. Can get good with a car 98, you can get good with anything. Yeah. Uh, I, I think am on going this, to have... we need to either roll 80 or. What is wrong with my map? Oh, there we go. Combine. Right. Uh, Something. Garrison, top right, and push towards Grushki flank. Let's uh, see if we can't fucking prevent them from capping that. Like, everybody just fucking get up there and try and hold it. Uh, and same, we'll... same roles? <sighs> to be fair, the German team works different to the American team, but, like, with the different weapons and stuff. Cause and we're possible, defending as well. Yeah, if possible, I'd like to go all mate Rathman. Uh, if you want, but the uh, STG is more of an assault weapon, in my opinion, than the BAR is. Oh, okay. Okay, I've got four. Uh, You've got six. So you should have an extra one. I think Python's struggling at the minute. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to respond on. I'll, I'll tell you what, Drop then. I'll right, go, Mike. I'll go um, support, but I'm bringing a rifle. Okay. That's so, fine. I think if we can get into Grush... Grushki flank. Let's try and get in there and hold it. Oh, at some point, at at some point, if we can get an MG in each squad, because we're on defensive as the oh, Germans here. Uh, yeah, I'm in tech. It's my MG. Yeah. So like we got we we kicked out the MGs in the last game because we needed to be more fluid, but this is offensive. So they have to come to us and they have to get in the strong point. So let's get an MG in each squad. Uh, I need a medic in each squad, uh, a support in each squad, an MG in each squad. Yes, very well done. Let's try and get on the strong point if we can too. Like in cover on the strong point. Yeah, 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 that's that's what I mean. Um, so, Kobler, I'm going to like get yourself a medic, a support, an MG, and... Uh, an engineer and try and just have them prioritize putting mines all over the strong point. Okay. And then I'll get a medic, a support, an MG, an engineer, and an AT. I'm already AT. Right, I've got uh, a medic, I'll, a support. I'll switch to heavy machine then. Oh, yeah, I'll skip the AT actually because Mike's going to be doing rifleman. Oh, uh, you might want to get Tusaphone to uh, drop supplies so we can put a garrison up here. Wonk, supply me here. Oh, they're already fucking capping. Put on our side of the lines, if you can. Uh, I think I just fucked that up, Cobbler, but it was a good suggestion. Okay. No, they're already capping. Like, first one's free on this map. Jesus. Okay, I'm deafening up. You guys should too. I will turn to Panzer's end. Okay, uh, fall back. Kruski is lost. Uh, go ahead and, uh, kill whoever you can, and then when you die, redeploy on Panzer's end. I'm all ready here. Okay, yeah, good. Uh, just just set up in that case. I'm gonna need a support. And uh, when I spawn in, we're going to... Do you have a, you have a, you have a support? I have a guy okay, center, support on me then. Uh, we're going to Panzer's I went, I went, I went ammo car there. Okay, good, good. Perfect. Yeah, I'll support the supply truck. Okay, support, go ahead and drop it here. Okay, never mind, we already have a... 
you're just enough. So if you have a cars, hit 50 kilos. Well, you would have got a spawn here if you didn't have a garrison to go by. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna put a uh, outpost in. I'm gonna find try and find a decent spot for it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so um, Cal, you are going to be pretty much assisting Imitech this whole game. You're going to be dropping ammo for him when needed, and uh, you're also going to be like clearing nearby enemies off of him. Um, hold up, let me radio Tom. After I figure out what squad he is. Hey, uh, Echo, that's Bravo. Could you send right. someone over to be my engineer? Because I think you have a full team right now. Put them somewhere to where one. it's safe to get them. Copy. Okay, uh... Yeah, just set up here, it's fine. Just drop the ammo wherever uh, Imitech is going to be able to use it. Nice. Explosive stuff can go down. Okay, we're going to get an engineer in our squad as well. And then we can supplies. start making fortifications. Tank coming on the point. Yeah, just uh, drop it anywhere, Cal. In fact, probably right here would be best for now. Yes, here. Oh, yeah, send us a tank on my uh, transport truck behind it or one of their supply trucks. Okay, good placement. Oh, shit. Okay. Give okay, we'll take the ammo's behind, behind you at the T junction, okay? And there's a on three okay. tank, man. We need the uh, anti sha Okay, I've got the binos out. So you can get a tank set up on the windmills. So you can cover pretty much the entire map from there. What's up? Contact. Contact front. I oh, come on up. I'm Bravo Ping. Go black. We're yep. still six and four because Python took the opportunity to grab recon, so you didn't get your fifth man. That's why. Oh. I'm okay. What a it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, as long as he's working with us. I don't care. Got a nice little position here. Medic, Brian, that's unusual. I fucking hate it already. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> someone else other than me who hates medic. No, I don't hate medic. I hate the situation that's mad in this game. Yeah, because it's fucking I'm a curse. medic at all. This is a much better spot than in there. Northeast. That's where I got hit from. The northeast right in front of us, so... Yeah, they're probably in the trenches up ahead. Yeah. As soon as you get up, jump back in the trench. I think we didn't get the engineer because we could have mined the trench in front of us. Thank you. Got a tank heading to windmill, so you should have good shots on him soon. Petushkas. Air comes, get to cover, to cover. Cover, Katusha's incoming! Everyone hit the fucking deck! And that's the time where I gave the Splunkies a shoot down the rockets. Okay, uh, we've just been hit with Katusha, it's on Panzer's end, they're gonna be pushing in now. 
Hey Cobra, cool, you'd oh know the answer to this question. Yeah, what's up? If the... No, if the... No, if the command, overall commander... Then ends up hitting like a shit ton of folk with artillery or Katusha, does he... Is he the one that gets the kills? Yes. Yeah. Like I thought I'd ask I've never Commander, Commander gets either. kills Commander for... Before. Commander gets kills for stuff like bombing runs and uh... Thank you. Katusha's and strafing. Okay, no, I just thought I'd ask I'd never thought about it before. Yeah. Like, Commander can actually check his personal stats before and after bombing run to see how many kills he got. I've rarely seen people actually do that, but... You can. I'm gonna try and spot where that fucking tank is. Golf Mark is actual for T-34. I'm also just waiting for my supplies to be able to be dropped again. Bravo light vehicle mark is uh, approximate for muzzle flashes. Recon vehicle. On pain. Ogler, off to your left. Uh, sorry, your right. Uh, right in front of you now. There's enemy infantry. Copy. In six zero. Uh, enemy infantry bearing six zero. Oh, sorry. Are they in the trenches or not in the trenches? Um, I'm not sure actually. I was just told. Well, I can't. I can't see them. So. Okay, there's one over here. Way out there. Yeah, I've got an MP40. I can't hit shit out of that trench. Yeah, no, that's fine. Command, if you've got any uh, supply drops, could you drop one in the Oleg house? Yeah. Thank you. Um, Cal? Actually, Imitech, are you cool being there, or would you rather be inside? I'll have my it? engineers fortify the place. He moved up, he made the chip. Okay. I mean, he made the choice to move up there. It's over. I would stay in there if... T-34 down on Bravo Mark. T-34 down on Bravo Mark. Say again? In middle HQ, is that new panther? Items, this is Rory 3 of the tanks. Uh, if anybody sees anything else, please ping them. Copy that. Good job, item. Bravo spots, uh... Times 1 enemy squad moving up. Bravo infantry mark. They're going for a wide yeah, flank. they're using a the trench there. Is that an airhead coming down 313? 313? There's an OP or a garrison in there. To your well. left. Cool, boy. Left. Front here. Oh no, it it's not an airhead, that's just a supply drop. Sure. But I'll mark it. Bravo, uh, enemy garrison mark is uh, supply drop. Golf, you're closest to it. Shit. Good call. Yeah. I need some both. Uh, Oh, thank you. Uh, command, be advised. There's a uh, light armor, I believe, at Oleg's house. Smoke screen at 340. Out. No foul. Your face like exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa.
war as hell. Okay, that looks like an airhead. Two four four. Enemy T-34 spotted leaving spawn, bravo I've got mark. Two, four, four. I've got an That's engine an here building defences here, but we need supplies I to keep getting that. dropped Eight. down here, and we need trucks to keep bringing them in. Uh, Don't just abandon the position, get someone else to it. We need someone uh, with an automatic down here. Good. Hey, could I, uh... Huh? Enemy infantry on items. No, nothing. Market. I was talking to the other guy that was in here. Roger. Your garrison is up. You can really use it. It's really useful. Google, I hope you mentioned the worst comms enemy airhead behind us. Uh, that wasn't airhead. That was a supply drop. Check the map. That was an airhead. What? Where? It come down like 240. I was shouting at you to mark it. I mean, it is cool, but after all, he doesn't pay attention that much. Look, I'm sorry, I got yeah, fucking point. command chat in my ear. Hold up. Okay, where was that airhead coming down at? It came down at like 245, like five minutes ago. And you're sure that wasn't the supply drop in D5? Positive. Okay. Enemy airhead roughly on easy marker. Well, Tom just found it. And called it out, so go figure. Can I get really get the supply truck uh, right side? Urge! Deliberating the trench in front of the... Our position is down. I just got dinked. Uh, enemy light vehicle near Oleg's house. Might get it. On uh, items marker. He's hiding behind a house. Okay. And are you able to swap off M3 for a bit more mobile class until this airhead is gone? Friendly bombing rifling along the trenches. The dudes are turned friendly, careful. Okay, sorry about that, I had to mute. I was uh, being talked to. Maybe uh, T-34 or night in the marker. Oh god, I'm on 15 frames now for no reason. House destroyed. Oh. Good job. At least our team is actually competent. Game is having some severe performance issues. 
There's another one coming down. 26 north, northeast. Get to you, thing coming, get down. Get down, everyone, hit the deck. That's our airhead, the one that's 35. Bravo Infantry Mark is at least two or three squads moving up on our position. Because why not? Because they want everybody to be a bit more spread out on Panzer's end, not just southwest spawning northwest. in one place. Um, okay. I'm in too much of a bad spot for me. Or not. Sorry, what was that, Imitech? I just got dinked. Dinked from the trench, the edge of the trench, right in front of our original fighting position. Try going out. Almost done. Times two. They're smoking heavily. Uh, MG, can you set up and uh, suppress through that smoke? Alright. Yep, there's one in the Good trench. Shit. TTSH, which is Russian. Just fucking grenade the shit they out They just it. dropped supplies to the southwest. They're gonna be trying to get a Gary in. I don't have grenades. I don't have grenades either. I don't have grenades either. Danger under original fight Under original fighting position is now completely empty. Yep. They're getting inside the... God damn it. Try to get them. I'm uh, dropping your UAV so you can see them. And I'll try to place a new garrison. Oh god, look how many there are. Check maps. Check maps. Man, advise defensive bombing run on Bravo Mark. Well, that was horrific. Hey, yeah, and I guess, are gone. and I guess nobody's reinforcing our original fighting position because nobody's saying jack fucking shit about it. Yeah, hold up. Hey, uh, we need at least one more squad supporting the, uh, what is that, the east flank of D4 here? And now the garrison is covered by enemy fire. MG up ahead. Thank you, Medic. MG down. I popped him. Frag going out. All over the trench on Bravo Mark. Okay, they're they're in that trench on uh, the infantry mark I just placed. Um, I'm gonna see an enemy oh, sniper. Compared over to where I am, behind. they're also a lot closer to where I am right now. Uh, medic, I'm gonna say don't bother. Yeah, I was gonna tell you I'm not coming. Yeah, okay. So that is a shit place. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, command, if you could, uh... If you, okay. I was just gonna recommend an airstrike to clear out that. Yeah. Grab some oh, cover, boys. That's, that's coming from behind us. Why aren't our tanks, like, holding windmill, like, the most important spot in the map, where you can shoot literally into the Russian fort? I don't know. I'm trying to yep. figure trying to out... Someone up there. It's, a, it's a massively crucial position. I, I guess the Lux that we have over in Gulf 5 is, uh... keeping infantry away from Oleg's house, so that's fine. What I want to know is, okay, that Panther on uh, E7 is probably RTB to restock on ammo. They got an AT rifle on us. Hey, they're going to the west right now, guys. Look at the west flag. They're pushing up. I dropped a nade. I dropped a nade. Look out. Someone should run over this trench up here. You know, you should really try and your grenades while it's here in cover, then throw well, them in the crowd. Uh, uh, yeah, that doesn't always end well for point. me, though. Yeah, it drops to the same place if you throw it, if you get shot when you stand up, or, you know, you stood up and then got shot. Yeah. Pull it, wait a second, stand up and throw it. Right going out, times two. I think there are tanks back here. Uh, let me get the binox uh, out. Two fifty. Two four nine. Two four nine. Says west. Yep. What is that? A two four nine? Yeah. No, what, what is it? Ahead. I fucking hate the binoculars. Be another enemy airhead northwest. Yeah, my boy spotted it. It's gonna be C4, C5-ish. Yeah. Good call on that. Katusha's hit the deck. Hit the deck. Katusha's incoming to Panzer's end. Command, advise bombing run if you got available uh, between my marks. Not yet, I see so many enemies, bro. Yeah, can you bomb them? Nope, not yet. Not okay. Yet. Look out, they're in the trenches, they're in the trenches. 
Okay, they're coming into the trenches. Oh, there's one on my body. There's one on my body in the trench. Bio, check your uh, check your right as you're coming in. There's a guy right fucking here. Nice shot. Nice shot. Gold star. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Thank you. You've earned mine, command. Actually, what squad is he in? Bio, bio, bio. George. Enemy garrison northwest. Enemy northwest. Yeah, on the mark. Okay, they're coming in from the northwest. Uh, you guys keep holding that flank over there. A lot of enemies northwest. T thirty four on ping, cold blur. Uh, Roger. Uh, Cal, right in front of our face, and that has to be concerned. That's an IS. That's an IS. The IS. Oh fuck. Uh, Bravo Mark is actual for an enemy IS tank rolling into the point. Is that IS? No. I called it out. I called it out. Right here. Right on big. Another tank on ping. Just killed a German and a French in front of us. Sorry, a Russian. Man, I just got dinked. Yeah, I'm currently locked in a gunfight, there's not much I can do. No, that's fine. Just, uh, do what you can. Who's going, who's going AT? Lost no. their OP. I'm gonna replace it in a sec. Yeah, okay. we, we do need someone to go you're AT. Go, I, didn't he, I didn't hear you saying you were going anti-tank, Emotech. Oh, fuck. They're right on top of the... They're right on top of the garrison. I think they just took it out. Uh. Yeah, unable to, sp unable to yeah. spawn up there. They're on top of the garrison. Okay, I'm gonna get us an outpost in between this garrison here. Advise, drop your OP. Those tanks need to get up and into windmills where you can see over the entire map. I've just oh. spawned in at Oleg's house. Medic! Thank you! Oh, thank you. Oh, they can't, they can't cap. We've won. Wow. They are capping. capping. Oh, oh, they may have overtime if they're capping, yeah. So we need to get Thank you. shit tons of supplies Thank and everything you. at Oleg's house to fortify it properly so we can actually hold it for half an hour. Oh. I don't know yeah, if we're... Is Oleg's house kind of shitty for defending? Uh, oh fuck. They actually capped, god damn. Okay, they got you the then. Yeah. Pay attention, Kobla. Bravo is redeploying to Oleg's house. I was dead. I was busy on a You Have Died screen. Alright, um... Yeah, let's get an MG set up in Oleg's house. Imagine if this game goes to full two and a half hours. 
I will leave before then. Yeah. Okay, if I got support. Alright, Cal, uh, go yeah, ahead and drop your supplies. Alright, go ahead and drop supplies and I'll get Garrison up here. Oh, we already have. I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, in that case, assist the engineer. Well, I've just dropped my. No, it's supply, fine. So. It's fine. Actually, Imitech, if you want, what you can do. There's another is... 150 over here. Uh, Imitech, could you actually put a manpower node in here, and that will refresh Plofix's cooldown when he's in range of it? You got enough Before. supplies for one. Uh, cows. Actually, you can uh, you can build a full set of nodes in here. Yep. Not with the amount of engineers that are currently about. Uh, right hand spawn. Oh, you've yeah. already made no. Okay. I put it in the middle. Never mind. Okay. But I haven't made nodes. I was just saying that. Oh. The team limit has reached its three. Okay. We yeah, I'm seeing that now. We do have an engineer who's putting together defenses. Yep, um, just assist the NG in building defense. You know, I've got my own defenses to put down before I start assisting. Fox, you wanna hop in? By the way, uh, Quafix, right, they're going to be coming in from the if north. If you prefer well, to not be medic, I'll I do need an MG at the moment. It's a personal preference for you, though. There is a hole between those. Wow. Let's get an MG in every window. Roger. Northeast. No doubt got a, um, a garrison on the northeast edge of the map. So uh, if you got a hammer and you see. All supplies have just been dropped on the road, guys. Alright. Engineers, make sure you keep building defenses, putting down your mine. Join the army, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Fucking hell, I can't put this thing down. Enemy infantry spotted moving up on Bravo Mark. Okay, uh, check near Bravo infantry mark. Let's get some suppressive fire on that. Aggressive, do you know where else we were about, mate? Zero two zero, check zero two zero. 
Leaks, three, five, six, one of the three, three, five, six, just left of north. Need a medic. Come here. White vehicle marked in center of me, truck of unidentified type. Katusha's incoming, hit the fucking deck! Hit the deck, hit the deck. I got fucked up. Yeah, they're going to be cresting this hill in front of us, uh, H5. Bravo mark is actual enemy infantry. Tanks we need you to move to move a bit here. If there are two tanks on the left uh, front, we need one back to the front. Why can one can stay there for the main road? Enemy recon overhead on the point. They're gonna know where we're at now. Enemy infantry spotted moving up Bravo Mark. Has anyone got an explosive ammo to put down? No. Uh, if anyone's still alive, let Hagman know that I will have explosive ammo when I return. There's already right. some down. I'm I'm dead at the moment. Or else I would. He says he's looking for some, so. I was looking right at it. It's on the north end of the strong point. By golf squad, so P. Hey, uh, easy. Go ahead and, and let your guy know that we have explosive ammo on the way. There's another one at the tree at north. Tree left of the road. You want explosive ammo? Cal, come here. Just chuck it down here. Uh, I think my, Mark's dead, so he doesn't need it anymore. But... Oh, okay. One take. AT's got some explosive ammo behind you. One 
just hiding in my corner until someone gets shot. Guys, there's ammunition. Look, there's ammunition for the MG up by the house. I said where Tom is. Enemy infantry moving up, they're going for a flank Bravo tag. Check west side, west side, they're flanking in. Flanking from the west. Okay, so won't be getting any supplies. Bearing 220. Do you uh, do you want supplies? I need supplies because okay. I've got an open top bunker, a few barricades for me. Hold up. I've got one more bar. Oh wait, wait one. Side. Say again. You want to take observation on this side, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Shoot him up. Hold on. Okay, one moment. Uh, command, this is Bravo requesting supply drop on Bravo Mark. My engineer's going to need to set up some stuff. In the smoke. There is an OP there as well. <coughs> uh, on, on Bravo, Mark. I see. Alright, thank you. Um, command, that was some very effective bombing run. Oh, look, it's that bomb over. Rather play, play recon and play with us. Check. 266, 266, infantry in the smoke. Yeah, hold up. Uh, wait one on explosive ammo. Contusion's incoming. Hit the deck. Uh, Cal Hagman needs explosive ammo. Yeah, I go. I had the execution line right in front of me. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, just drop, drop in some ammo when you got it. Oh, oh, fuck. That's a... Oh, I him and he turned into paste. Cobbler drop who ammo? Uh, Hagman. Hagman. Hagman, we got your explosive ammo over here. Uh... I'm going to take explosive for ammo that I, I placed where Tom was. Yep. Uh, I think it got blew up in that Katushka track. Yeah, that can happen. Build, build garrisons if somebody can, I will drop you supplies. Um, Cal, can you drop supplies for Garrison? You need I'm, to get one in. No. Okay. That's only about half full, Cobbler. Enemy airhead coming down, 135 southeast. I see it. I'm about south. to tag it. Explosive supplies down. I'm dropping his supplies. Bravo, enemy garrison mark is actual for enemy airhead. Get your ammo here. Alright. 
Uh, there's an enemy airhead over at uh, 129. Enemy airhead's destroyed. From me. Yeah, I, I heard Tom. Okay. Nice one, item. Yeah, I've, well, I've got an MP40, I can't shoot shit at range, so. Hey, 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 supply truck, supply truck. We need some supplies here. Yeah, yeah, drop one just now. Thank you. Can I get some repairs, though? Uh, Imitech, you want to repair this guy? The truck? Yeah, my NG's on it. Cool, but I just got shot from the northwest. Roger. Contact northwest. Thank you, comrade. Good hunting. Build a new garrison, boys. Yeah, garrison's in. Garrison's in. Hold on, Kyle. I'm coming to you. Yeah, I just lie down. Medic closer, but I'm coming anyway. Yeah, that's somebody else is getting me, I think. UAV's coming up. Hey, uh, rifleman. You're the one driving, right? Uh, you mind dropping the second pallet and then RTB reloading and come back? Gotcha. Thank Where do you. you need the second pallet? Uh, just anywhere. Anywhere. Gotcha, gotcha. Once you drop into that. Oh. Up. Look out. It's gonna be hot. Yeah. Check southwest. Wait for me, comrades. Danger close, southwest. Enemy vehicle, I believe. I don't know, it's our vehicle. Cool, but you're still needing supplies for, uh... Or Gary or something? Uh, no, we're fine now, actually. Just go ahead and, uh, go ahead and help him and tech out. Ask him where he needs supplies. Oh, I've just dropped my supplies. It's only started using them, I think, for Bob Dwyer. Enemy supply drop coming in on Bravo Garrison Mark. Enemy you would think we can't do this thing though because Wonk's used 10 of our supplies. Hey, uh, could we possibly get that Lux to push up a bit and uh, support us? I know, but unfortunately, somebody, an engineer decided to use some of the supplies. Bravo Mark is actual uh, one squad coming in. Be advised they are coming down the trench line that's to the west of Oleg's house that leads directly into the strong point, two of them at least. Okay, you guys keep uh, holding that angle, that's good. Yeah, really good. Them once they get more supplies. Yeah, roger that. Uh, looks like you have some coming in on Golf 6. That might not be close enough though. Hey, uh, what's the stat? Uh, sorry. Hey, uh, what's the status of the friendly supply trucks? We we still need more supplies up at Oleg to fortify. <coughs> Check. I like them. You can use them. Yeah, no, yeah, I know, but I'm talking about the supply trucks that are coming in and out. I believe. Someone uh is taking care of it, man. Look, look on the map. The supply trucks are working nonstop. Okay, alright. Yeah. You know what would be great right about Good now? Good job for carrying, man. Some fucking artillery. 
Yeah, well, uh, I guess if you want, you can do artillery. I am fairly concerned at the uh, supply <coughs> that got dropped towards the uh, west and the fact that they've been using that trench network. We might want to push out that way and make sure they don't let me, establish uh, let a... Me, let me radio Tom and see if he thinks that's a good idea. I mean, we would have had a full bunker set up here, but some some engineer decided to go forth and use... Hey, 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 uh, supply truck, supply truck. Um, yeah, yeah. Please, uh, please follow the engineers and ask them where they would like supplies. Uh, particularly Imitech, he's at your 12 o'clock there. Thank you. Alright, Imitech, that supply truck is just directing where you want him. Copy. <coughs> Enemy I'm gonna go jump on the other side. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me ask Tom. We're gonna destroy the truck behind you. Oh shit! Whoever has Teufelosi, just let him know the supplies just came down to his left, possibly. Hey, um. Echo, one of my boys says he's going to go on artillery. Uh, yeah, he did not uh, have my permission to do 66. so. Just be on the... Okay. You can see on the map. But I was going to ask you if, like, you think that's a good idea. How'd you guys like some actually competent artillery? Okay, if someone wants to go assist Quafix uh, with artillery, go ahead. Yeah, I'm good, I can walk next house. Near some buildings. Um, you know what? Yes, keep doing what we should have someone up there loading with you at least to make things faster. Oh, no, that's cool. Okay. I need you up there putting marks down. Yeah. And Cal is up there for supplies and it's exploding stuff. Yeah, no, that's oh, fine. They got me. Come down, I can do it. Nice shooting. <coughs> Are they still around this position? Uh, hold up. Uh, we have enemy contacts coming east. They're going for a flank. Okay, sorry. What was that? Um, I'll I'll spot for you in a second. They are flanking from here. Copy from my position. <coughs> Uh, if anyone has a fire mission for artillery, I got boys over there, so uh, let uh, me know. Commander, can we have a um, tiger, please? Okay, I told uh, I told the SL set if there, they got a fire mission, can they can drop it tank? for you. Where do we want it? Yeah, you'll uh, need to uh, overlap their marks, because I can't see those. I can see yours. Yeah, that's fine. Four minutes, boys. Oh, blood. What's up? Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a marker down where I think uh, they have a garrison. You can get our equal and over on it. Yes, sir. Okay, Tom's going to have a fire mission for you in a sec. Uh, just wait one. Huh? Copy. 
You got a bombing run on the way to that. Okay. Sorry, wrong chat. Okay, new fire mission. Uh, Bravo Mark, Hotel 6. Numpad 9. You put the an attack mark on it or something? Yeah, can you not see that? Uh, I guess not. Commander no. officers. There you go. New fire mission uh, on Bravo Mark. Rounds on the way. How many shields? Um, fire for effect. I put at least three shells on it, possibly more. Okay, right. I'm about to ping another enemy tank. Enemy armor spotted. Village west. Absolutely. Okay, okay, okay. copy. Uh, is anyone AT in my squad? It is damaged, I can see. Holy fuck. Uh, Bravo Mark is actual for enemy IS-1. No damage. He is uh, attacking the yellow house. I can smoke that tank. Yeah, please do. Throw smoke on him if you can. Uh, I can't ping in things, I've just been dinked. He's on, uh, he's on Bravo Tank Mark. That's where he's at. Cobbler, if you can, build garrisons. Alright, hold up. Uh, do we not have... Because there's no, there's, there's no, there's no garrison there. Alright, hold up, hold up. You need to pay attention to lots of things. As Sorry, a, dude. It's like, I have a lot of there shit going on. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try and get garrison up. People are, people are asking for... for garrisons. Dude. It's going in, okay? Just chill. It's fine. Sorry, it's just there's a lot Garrison, going on. Garrison's hot. Garrison's in, but it's hot. And it Garrison just died. Help. Garrison down. Yeah, I know. I see it. Um, hold up. Smoke shells are down on the sink. Oh, this is shitty. Yeah, try I'll try and get an OP in somewhere behind one of the barricades. I'll try and get a Garrison in. I'm gonna try and get Garrison in, but we're suppressed. I just put an OP in. Did they destroy it? Yeah. You have to manage to put a Garrison, boys. You have so many supplies there. We are working on it. the other side of the road. Put, put it in there. Garrison is in, but it's probably gonna be really hot. It's not in the best spot, but it's what I could do. Okay, they see it. They definitely see it. Fucking hell. Oh my god. God's sake, it's been overrun again. If they start capping, it'll go into overtime. They have. Yeah. Oh, fuck. We need reinforcement, man. Command, drop and reinforce on Oleg's house. Reinforce, reinforce. Yes. Command! To the strong point! I am, I am. Thank you. Everyone get on the strong point! Everyone! Okay, Info. we're eating into the tower. We've just got to keep keep going, keep going. Got to start capping. Start contesting. Frag going in. I just got thanked. Not happening. Oh. We've, got, we've got no Gary's anywhere near the next defense point. I cannot believe it, man. It's well, fine, it's I fine, mean, just fall back. It is fine, it is fine, but the thing is, they've done this twice now. I don't know if it's their command structure or whether they've just got some good players. They basically spend most of the time we're defending, setting up their garrisons, dropping their supplies, getting ready to push, and then in the last That's... few minutes they just do a massive push. That's what if it is. It, if this happens yeah, again, on the only way we're going to counter that is we need to push outwards when we see their supplies coming in and when they're establishing a position, and we need to destroy the position so they can't just sit on it. 
All squads, um, grab any transport trucks nearby and pile in. We're headed up to Rudno. Okay, uh, support. I'm gonna need you on me. There is, uh, there is one time I'm still you know, dead. You That's fine, let me put no P in. So, you oh, spawn okay, where I want you to. Kill them. Okay, go ahead and, uh, OP is up. Looks like we're heading for Rudna. For now, yeah. Um, you and I are gonna take a stop at ammo dump, though, to get a garrison up there. Just in case we lose Rudno, so... Uh, Command Bravo is going to get a uh, backup garrison up at ammo, uh, ammo dump. Okay, I'm heading for ammo dump. No, 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 get in the car. I didn't say you are in a vehicle, Cobbler. Oh, well, I am. So we're going to ammo dump and then... Fox, get in! Get in, Fox! We're going to go to ammo dump and get a garrison up. And then once we do that, we're headed to Rudno. IS-1 on IS marker. Alright, Cal, dismount. I am as well. Wait here, Fox. Okay, Cal, just go ahead and put the supplies in anywhere. Supplies down. Garrison's in. Garrison is up at ammo dump. We are doubling back to Rudno. So he's very OP, but he has no idea what he's doing. Right. What? The blueberry was in the truck with us. That blueberry is an SL. Yeah, he said he's very OP and he also said he has no idea what he's doing. Nice. My bad move off. He also sounds like he's about 13, so... Don't be the MG, get in! Dr truck driver. MG, let's go! Fuck it, I ain't waiting for him. I take about a minute and a half for him to realize I was speaking to him and then me and Emo type to try to upgrade that one bunk that single bunker at <laughs> uh, Oleg's house. Yeah. So I, I ended up going under hell, get the fuck out of there, we're trying get out of there, the bunker we're trying to upgrade it. Uh, did anybody kill that IS-1? Up, up, upgrades cannot yeah. commence until after you have... No, we did not get that IS-1 that was behind Oleg's house. He's probably going to be moving towards us now. Alright, copy. We'll we'll try try we'll we'll we hit him twice on the side and once in the front, he still did die. Get out! We want a loader. In a tiger in front. Nah, it's all good. Ridiculous. You're probably more used to building defences. I can load it. Out on this truck off, Cobbler. Mm. Okay, I mean, shouldn't matter. The truck Cal's makes noise. Conscious. The truck makes noise. Soviet time camping, I think. Yeah, but it's not like we need to be discreet that we have a truck up here. Like, I could understand if we're behind enemy lines and it's like a supply truck or something, but... Can we get a Tiger, bottom right spawn? I already spawned from the left. Hi, Sousaphone. 
somebody took it man. You, you want the panther? Yeah sure, panther, panther works. Where do you want it? Bottom right. Just be aware that we have enemies there in my mark. I have heavy enemy coming through the trenches where I'm at the tank with the tank. They may have a I also could use uh, another guy here. I don't know what happened to the other guys. Trying to hold the trenches here. In the trenches! They were in the fucking trenches. Uh, Golf, Echo, be advised, there's enemies danger close in those trenches to your left. Golf just went down. Abel, check They're your three clock. They're trying to come through this uh, trenches on the edge of the map. Oh, I fucking spawned in the wrong place. I just went down. Oh no, no. Just barely missed the respawn timer. That sucks. We just lost a Panther in H10. Yeah, we were engaging a Panther IS-1. Okay. All right, I'll try and call it in for you. Uh, command requesting a supply drop on Bravo Mark. We've got some engineers over here who need supplies. Uh, do you know, can you get a mark down where they are? Help. Yeah, yeah, hold I up. See Thank you. Okay, it's going to be on attack mark. Actually, hold up. Let me go ahead and put that in the trench. So it's more exact. Yeah, right in there. Be advised, Bravo is dropping artillery rounds on Bravo Mark. Thank you for the supply drop, command. Okay, supplies have touched down. Where's our engineers at? Samurai kill, what are you shooting at? Can you mark okay. it? Black Hawk. No, I cannot mark with my... Enemy south. south, apparently. Hey, it's an anti-tank guy. He's right in front of me. We've lost the okay, garrison inside Rudnall. Roger. No garrison in uh, I'll work on getting another one up. New one is up. Okay, nice. Hey, there's an enemy close. Watch out, guys.
I'm suppressed. Yep. Yeah, enemy is coming from my direction where the tank is. I'm dead. Bravo mark approximate for enemy infantry. Shells on your streamer. There's more coming from west. All right, stand by for new fire mission. We got enemy infantry behind this transport truck, right in front of me, tagging. Alright, um... Plawfix. New fire mission. Delta 7, numpad 6. Fire for effect. After that. Artillery incoming on Bravo, Mark. Good hit. That was a good hit. I know you got a team kill, but I was already down. There was a guy yeah, right on top of me. One. Well, they've just sent I'm someone to the artillery to kill me. I'm putting Tiger on the left spawn. Yeah, just uh, keep putting rounds on there for the time being. I can't. They just killed me. Oh, shit. Alright. Guys, they are trying we have... to come from behind. We are about to lose the, um, the garrison from the... Um, Break, break, break. We have enemies in our artillery pit. Katusha is incoming. Hit the deck. Hit the fucking deck! Get in cover! Enemy supply drop spotted near uh, Bravo Mark. You are now stuck in this corner. You are not coming. T thirty four two nine eight. Enemy T-34 spotted Bravo tank mark actual. Alright, let's get an AT on that uh, tank over there if we can. Burge! Where from? Fuck. Tank is fucking us up. I think I found the guy that killed me. And his entire life. Yeah, oh shit. Place. Cal says uh, his internet shit the bed. That sucks. Yeah, I'm in tech. See if you can engage that uh, tank. I will if I don't get what. That's fine.
gonna try and throw smoke on him. I'm out of rockets. Okay, um... Well, shit. Calvin's our support. We've had him drop explosive ammo. Uh, if anyone has explosive ammo crates, go ahead and drop it. Uh, I've got an AT on that T-34 right now. We've got no garrison on the road again. Shit. Take the garrison back after. I haven't got an outpost down over there and I just died, so... That's good. Uh, Jig. Have we got no friendly fucking armor? What's going on? Yeah. There's a tank on the point. Yeah, armor's, armor's engaging at the uh, IS-1 at I marker. We have a tiger at uh, D6, or sorry, D10. C10. He's on route though. We're gonna shot, get right? fucked if you don't kill it. He's killing all the infantry, and we can't shoot it because it's in the front. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I'm spawning in at ammo dump. See if we can clear the enemies off of that. Maybe we're here to one of the other squad leaders to get a garrison down. There is one at ammo dump. There isn't one at rip now. Yeah, true. Dropping supplies on the point. Alright, uh, are you back on the artillery? Is it clear? Yep, for now. Okay, um, in that case, new fire mission, D7, numpad 5. Yeah, I know. Advice, fall back to ammo dump. Have 30 seconds left this time. Yeah, I know, right? Alright, um... Shit. Alright, uh, Imitech, I'm gonna try and get us an outpost in. Uh, you, Command, can we have a tiger want, spawn on the bit spot? go MG. You got the tiger on the... Oh. I'm still with one. Thank you. Yeah, I mean when you die. Sorry, wrong chat. We need people to start redeploying on ammo dump right now. No point in being in Rudno still. Defensive positions! Tell him, tell your dad he has nice lips. <laughs> That's fucking hot. It is, isn't it, brother? Does your dad have nice lips too? I don't know, you'll have to find out. Oh, tell him I'll smooch him, okay? Alright, cool. I'm sure my daddy would love that. Oh, 
sorry. Sorry for wasting your time. What on it's earth okay. is going on over what? here? Oh, oh we're getting bro. fucking killed. We can't yeah, kill guys. Smoke. Get yeah, we trench. should get in the trench. Get in the trench. We should move. Trench. Those guys don't have nice lips for me. I'm a simple man. I see a girl gamer. I send from request. Katusha's hit the fucking deck. Hit the deck. Yeah, it's off on the map. We lost our garrison. Outpost is in. Hey, uh, if you got if you got supplies available, uplink. Oh, you're my fucking hero. Drop it anywhere. Fuck. Bravo's going to try and get a garrison in on the point. It's fucking dicey. Garrison's in. It's uh, semi protected. Inside the trench, luckily. Enemy supply drop coming in on Bravo Mark. Shit. Uh, I have no idea. I think it's There's an talking. airhead? Jesus Christ, Cobbler, we were talking about this five minutes ago. Bravo, Mark, it's enemy infantry. Nice one on By the way, airheads last for two minutes before they disappear. Bravo tank mark is an enemy T-34 rolling up.
your man on spawning. Bravo, Garrison Mark is uh, approximate for enemy supply drop coming down. They're tanking the empty tanks. It's not allowed on the server, is it? Can you tag them so we know where they're at? No, it's, it's the tiger. Bravo, Mark, it's actual for an enemy T-34. He's right on top of me. T-34 right fucking in front of me. I'm gonna smoke him out. God. Hey, look out, there's fucking T-34 ahead. Supply truck. I'm all over here. Jagger. Get down! Get the fuck down! Now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get the OP up again, and hopefully another, uh... What's it called? All right. Uh, wrong, ch wrong chat. Sorry. Artillery new yeah, fire mission. On H, middle, H, Two H, times H, enemy armor. Fox um, trot eight. Artillery for about fifteen minutes. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm getting really bad tunnel vision right now. Like, not actual medical tunnel vision, but like, psychological tunnel vision. Probably because I'm hungry and I haven't eaten yet. Look out in the trench behind me. West. Oh, I think that's an enemy airhead coming in. I'm dead, but... Possible enemy airhead dropping in behind ammo dump. Gonna try and get a visual. Uh, disregards the supply drop. Still gonna try and tag it though. I assume we want an enemy, enemy supply drop coming in near Bravo Mark. Sorry, what was that in tech? I assume we want an AT to get rid of the tanks. Yes. If you want to go AT, be my guest.
Holy shit. Gonna refresh the outpost in five seconds. Outpost is in. Command, this is Bravo again. Try and get a uh, garrison set up where you just drop supplies. Quit your complaining, it's war, not a fucking kinder party. Fuck you. Well, let's hope you don't need a medic. Yeah, because uh. you bandage yourself. No, bandage him. No. no. Bandage him. I'm gonna wave my bandages at him. Don't be a knob. You're gonna get shot. Who's gonna bandage you then? You don't be a knob either. I was just about to bandage my. Oh, you dick! <laughs> Bandaging himself. I live here now. Me too. I do feel. I do feel like most of us are done with this. Yeah. I'm uh, yeah. I'm done with this, this match. Like, I love this game, but the, I hate offensive oh, yeah, and I no. hate this match. I love I love this game too, but offensive in this map right now, uh, no thanks. I fucking hate the binocular sway. Stand still then, you Is that tank marker accurate? Yes, it is, Simitech. That's accurate. Bravo mark is accurate for an enemy uh, IS-1. I also feel like they've got footloads of tanks, and we don't have any. I keep blowing us up to the fucking morons. We, we have tanks, but they're fucked off somewhere else. But that's what I mean, is I don't feel like our armor is very effective if we have any. It's like I kept asking yeah. Cobra, get, get tanks set up on windmills when we were defending Panzer Zen, because you can literally see into the Russian spawn from up there. Is any of them tech, there? If you're going for that, you're uh, coming yeah, up behind yeah, him, which is good. I would recommend smoking him if you have smokes. Windmill. Okay. Some uh, AT loadouts have smoke. I run past him. Come on, can we have a tank on the right hand spot? Yes. I mean, to be honest, it's 14 minutes to go, but they are going to push this. You. Like, there's going to be a concerted push at some point. There's practically nobody even in here. They're dropping supplies to the uh, west, Kobler. Uh, uh, let me check that. Don't see it, but There's I might be blind. Down. They're already down. Um, I've marked it with a garrison, because that's obviously what they're putting in there. Where's the tank? What bearing? Yeah, they're gonna build some defenses uh, there. Three, four. Three, four? Yes. Oh yeah, that's the IS. Alright, Imitech, uh, tank marker is accurate. It looks like his ass is facing you, but his turret is too. Yeah, he's shooting at you. Yeah, Imitech is uh, AT right now. No, he's going to try and take that out. Being Roger. Nice hit. That wasn't me. Oh. Yeah, you're not going to be able to pen his front arm. I'm out of rocket. Okay, it's fine. 
I'll try and keep him distracted. It's gone. Okay, nice. Good job clearing the Enemy tank. tank destroyed. Yeah, the ice check, uh, check Bravo infantry mark for enemy infantry. Yeah, doing so. Lima, you can clear your tank mark. Watch the pepper shots. Katusha's incoming. Katusha's. Yeah. Yeah, I hear him. I called it out. Get down, Katusha's incoming! Yeah, uh, got some kind of garrison over there, I think I was trying to get rid of it. Oh, hello. Hello. Better get down, dude. On the left side, man. Left side of uh, ammo dump. They're rushing. We lost uh, two OP. That might be a tank on ping. Uh, ping it again in attack. Possible enemy armor, Bravo mark, unidentified, unconfirmed. Uh, they, they go in the forest left side, uh, they want to come ping. Do not go too far. Say again, we need to defend, not attack. Alright. I don't know. The Enemies beyond the objective. Where? Mark them. Okay, uh, we're gonna double back and get on the point. Uh, I just want to I think marker. they are. I think they are somewhere here at my mark. Because we already lost all of the very so. Command requesting supply drop. Bravo mark. Uh, Echo 9, numpad 2. We have, uh, we have a spawn killer on the middle. Care. 
there. We're gonna try and get a backup garrison in there. Medic! I'm trying to figure that out. Um, I got shot from like the southwest. Enemies in close southwest of my corpse. I need a medic. Enemy plane overhead, unknown type. Stop fraternizing, Vici. Yo, let me stop the fraternizing. I flipped. I flipped the hat off your head. I flipped the hat off your head. I'm flipping the hat off your head, okay? Your hat's on the floor, I mean, your hat's on the floor. Come I mean, we can leave, he doesn't have any money. Fuck, man. Oh my god. Fine, you want me to pay you? I'll pay you, fine. I'll do it. There's money inside this supply crate. Enemy supplies dropping in on uh, Bravo Garrison Mark. Uh, it's gonna be closer than that. Whereabouts? Oh my god! Dude, I got headshotted by a tank shell. It's actually impressive. Please. At least it's not as bad as spawning in on a garrison and getting shot by an artillery shell. Yeah. They're inside- they're inside our fucking HQ spawn at mid. Tank at spawn. Well, if they're having fun on, their, on, the, on okay. our HQ, then they're having fun. But they're not on our points, and they're not- they're not winning. Not yet, they aren't. They're gonna make a big push at the end, though, because that's what they've done. There must be at least a tank, something if the pump is shooting into spawn or HQ. Remember to remember to watch in the uh, in case of her head. Also, command. Uh, get ready to prep the reinforce for when they attack. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna bug you with a reminder when they start capping. Yeah, man. Supply drop dropping north of the point. To be fair, we should use the reinforce if we look like we need to run get on the before point. they start capping. Because if they start capping, they get overtime. Yeah, but if we push them off the cap and contest it to where it's under our control, they uh, they lose. If they're in overtime. Okay, yeah, you're right. But if they start capping, the reinforce will probably only lock it up and make it contested. But as long as we have, like, most, if not all, of our team in the strong point, we should be good. We need more tents. We don't at the moment. Here, 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 
Yeah, I think I know why they're in our HQ now. They're actually going to try and cut us off from there so we can't get in uh, from HQ and then flank. Their Makes strategy sense. their strategy is going to be taking out our spawn here and then preventing us from getting back in, I think. Which they'll probably do with a Katusha strike and then... Uh, the garrison's down. Tank. Yeah. Look out, uh, contact south, contact south. Alright, just, uh, set up shop, defend. Okay, contested. Man, we're losing. Uh, drop the uh, thing if you can. Behind you, behind you, behind you. Commander. It's not of a keep defending for fuck's sake. Yeah. Make reinforcement and please uh, drop supply, supply for organism. IS tank Bravo Mark. His his ass is facing the point. Okay, gonna be dropping Garrison in. Tank. Garrison's up. It. Garrison's up. It's gonna be hot. Garrison's yeah, down. A tank next to it, and a guy with the PPSH the other side of it. Oh. Holy fuck. Well, um, we fought hard. It's not over. Yeah. GG. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, I'm done too for, t for today, Emo. Um, that was you know. fucking painful that like by the time we got down to that point like the last point Kobler and I were both saying like this is how they're gonna do it this is how they're gonna do it and it's like as soon as they did it it's like oh good everybody felt to shit yeah um, so I'm gonna deafen up I'm just gonna say goodbye to the stream and uh, I'll be back in to ch chat with you guys how dare you I had a really good time that was awesome that was a really good fucking game. It, like, extremely it was shit. Good. I hated every minute. Dude. No, like... <sighs> I, I feel like... I feel like the enemy commander was just dangling the chicken leg in front of us, you know? Like... It, like, we got so close, and then every single time he, he waited until quite literally the last second, and then he springs everything on us. Like, wow. That game was depressing. I agree with Ryan. I feel like every game that we've had so far is depressing. Well, oh, the other ones are fun. That one sucked. No, I honestly enjoyed that one a lot. Um, I, You're I think, a strange man. I, the, only, like, the only one... What was it? This Was it third to last um, point? That was, like, super... Well, it seems super easy to defend. Oh, shit. Pearl but then Heart fucking... Lane. And then we got overrun, because... <laughs> None of the blueberries knew what the fuck they're doing. It got uh... to a point where me, Tom, and Erin, and for a little bit, Kobo, Kobla were literally just sitting in a shell crater in the middle of the house, like, I'm done with this shit. Yeah, and we were fucking around, too. Like... Yeah, I I actually I started to fuck around before. Like they were Wasn't they were complaining and I was like, Quit your complaining, it's a war, not a fucking kinder party and then Aaron was like, Well, you better hope you won't need a medic then and right as she and said that I got shot. It's like that one guy, there's there was a guy shouting at me or shouting at someone.
probably me because I think I was the only support there. But as soon as the fucking, you know, those right right then at the end when all the garrisons went, some guy was shouting at the top of his voice, voice like, "Put some supplies down." I was like, "I would, mate, but they're uh, they're not ready yet." Oops. Yeah. Oh, the fuck is that? So sweet, but you know. <laughs> Find oh. a can. Give me some ammo. Do you want some ammo? <laughs> what some fucking ammo? Dude, holy shit! I didn't realize the Soviets. I, I see what Tom there. means now, though. Obviously, you go on a 33rd server and you do all this training. And them games that we had today, you just could not implement that training. Well, not the anywhere, games bro. throw it out the window. You can just try and do the little bits right. Yeah, like, okay, so the, the last game, what was that? Were we on Karen's hand the last game? Kursk. Kursk. No, 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 the one before Kursk. Uh, so the I game before last game. The game before last game. Yeah, it was Carrington, the one before that. Yeah, that was some really tight gameplay. Like, we actually, even though we lost, like, um... I love how you see positives in su such negatives. Well... <sighs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I'm American, you guys are British. This should be reversed. Like, for no, fuck's sake. No, well, it shouldn't. We're, we're British. <laughs> we are a nation of pessimists and miserable bastards. Mm, that's not what I've been led to believe. Probably because the person leading you to believe it was also British and therefore massively sarcastic. Uh, Lindy Beige. Yeah, almost everything he says is oozing with irony and sarcasm. Are you serious? Yes. He seems genuine, though. Have you seen his video well, on like British, yes, uh, why have. British officers don't duck? Like that's yes, fantastic. People do sound serious, though. Dude, that's, that's I take Lindy Bates seriously, him. though. Yeah, um, you know you're doing sarcasm right if people actually don't know if you're being sarcastic or not. Yeah, yeah. Like Lindy Bates is really good at it. Okay, well, today I learned. Fucking Lindy Bates. God. What His point funny. will be true, but the way he describes it and explains it will involve a lot of sarcasm. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Um. God, that it just it crushed my soul to hear that that Lindy Beige has been sarcastic this whole time and I never picked up on it. God well, damn. At least it. now we're even because your squad leading crushed my soul. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh shit, I unlocked the ambusher anti-tank loadout. Well, I see Imitech. I see Ryan. Where the fuck is Cobbler? Alright, he's right over there. Fucking about 10,000 yards that way. Get out. I'm sorry, okay? The fuck? It's like trying to have a like Rambo as your squad leader. It's like fucking it's... off into the wilderness every ten minutes. His uh... squad's at HQ spawn while while he's fucking fighting the front line as a solo squad leader. It's like he was like, yeah guys, just sweep this just sweep the map for OPs and spawns. And then fucked off doing his own thing. And I was like, uh, Cobbler, there's a lot of map and three of us. Where do you want us to sweep? Problem. What? I think you need to uh, step down as squad leader. Come on! I I felt like I was actually doing okay though. At least the last yeah, game. Makes me feel better about my squad before. leading. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till I start doing it, and then you guys can take a piss out of me. Oh, I feel much better about myself then. Oh no, Luke, you actually... Luke, you, you actually make a halfway decent commander and uh, tank commander, so... I 
I don't think you'd be a bad squad lead. I think your problem, Cobbler, and we've touched on this before, is you play it like a commander. I know. And you're so used to being, that's the problem, I'm going to fix it, instead of, that's the problem, is it my problem, do I have someone in my squad that can deal with that problem, and then how do I use these six, five guys to address that problem? Yeah. Instead, you just fuck off and do it, and we're all stood there going, what are we doing? <laughs> and then we fuck off into the wilderness as well, because you fucked off, and we don't know what we're doing. Yeah, well, I've There's a lot gone of fucking through life going on. Basically, I've, yeah. I've gone through life with the philosophy that if something is worth doing right, it's worth doing right the first time. And if you want something to be done right, you have to do it yourself. Well, you and I take that mentality into the game. And yeah. your other five people as an extension of yourself. Yeah, that's that's where I fail as a squad lead. So, that's why I was really hoping that. Uh, <laughs> but you we can't can touch really on this call in yourself. You can't really call yourself a squad lead if there's no squad. <laughs> no, he's just got the badge on. Uh, <laughs> he's got his fucking Panzer Shrek on his shoulder with squad lead written on, written on the side in Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Come shit. on. I don't fucking. Ugh. Yes, God. I am leading the squad. He's where got a spray your, painted is, on the side of the Where is your squad, truck. sir? Oh, uh, over oh, there. I left them somewhere. Over there. Fucking still on Omaha Beach and he's fucked off into Carrington. God damn. Ugh. Nothing yeah. will make me laugh more than that time when we were all pinned down on that road and we were just, not today, this was ages ago, we were all pinned down, fucking Cobbler doesn't even say anything, but the next time you hear from him it's like, right oh, guys, I'm, I'm coming up in a tank. I was like, really? What happened to being in the squad? And he just <laughs> fucking got in a tank. Are you sure well, I did that? Yes, I am very sure you did that. How I was more amused by the fact that, that we went, uh, we went Panzer Grenadier, and we were like, "Cobbler, yeah, we'll go infantry squad." Oh you yeah, the, we'll protect you. And as soon as we got into contact, he just fucks off into a field. And we're like, "Oh well, now we have no tank, and he has no infantry." And then we died shortly. <sighs> <right there. sighs> Dude, oh my god, I I thought I'd heard the end of that one, but I guess not. No, you'll never hear the end of these. We'll always... Can I ask you a serious question, Cobbler? Yeah, to be what? fair, your issue isn't the fact that you fuck off. It's that you fuck off without telling us that we're fucking off in that direction. Okay. How like much of go, the training if you, if did you, you go, actually oh, That's to. the problem. We're going to go address it. And then you said to us, guys, I've, no, I've seen this. We're going to do this. And then we all go, and we all deal with it. But you just, you just go. Like, you see it. You don't say anything. You just go. All right. Well, I I feel like while that did happen a lot, there were still a few times where I actually did everything right, or I did most things right. Particularly around the it should be the exception where you. I fuck know, off. I know, I know. I'm. It's a work in progress. Okay. It's a work in progress. I'm. Like one of them really long fucking downloads. <laughs> Just take the. 99% download failed. So, Luke, what was your question that you had? A serious question? What, did you actually take anything from training and, and put it into the field today? The main thing that I gleaned from uh, training today was the whole like movement thing. Um, and I guess spacing, but I didn't really... I didn't put it to use as much as I would have liked to. <laughs> Shut up, Luke! I thought you were being serious! Come on! Well, I was. I was. And until you said you learned about spacing. Because you... <laughs> you were quite a very large space away from your squad. Oh. Cobbler spacing to the extreme. <laughs> 
I'm spacing Pogba, out. Spacing what shouldn't I'm doing. be measured in grid squares, okay? Spacing field. shouldn't be measured in uh, AU. Active field. Non-active field. Non-active field. Non-active field. <laughs> non-active field. Non-active field. Non-active field. Active field. No, it's our squad, so it's going to be non-active field, active field, non-active field, non-active field, active field, non-active field, active field, cobbler. Cobbler. <laughs> right, at least he's on the same server. He's not only just, he's on fucking Karantan and Whistle on Omaha. <laughs> Rob, you God. missed. That last game was a shit show. We've went in Cobbler for a bit. It wasn't Cobbler's fault. But it's that last right, game like, was a shit show. I'm, like, uh... Oh. I, I recorded it. In fact, I'm still rolling now, so I'm going to cut the recording pretty soon. You'll have to, I'll have to have a look at that recording. Just see so how far it's away, pretty mate. good. Um, yeah. I want to see how, how many steps away from your team you were. You Dude, fuck oh. off. Fuck <laughs> off. Okay, Rod, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut. Not, right? On three of the capture points, it went down. One of them went to overtime where it starts ticking down manpower, and then they cap, and two of them were within 10 seconds of game over. Yeah. You should have seen Cobbler. Me and Cobbler went on as a recon squad the other day. Oh, that's the funniest thing. Obviously, I, I, I'm playing as a fucking... <laughs> obviously, the the uh, spotter. And Cobbler's just, you know, sat in the trenches at the bottom of the hill. Like trying to snipe people. I'm like, Cobbler, what the fuck are you doing down there? You need to get... You're shooting people uphill. You need to get into a position where you're not with the blueberries. The sniper isn't supposed to be with the blueberries. You're supposed to be away from the blueberries. Dude. Helping them advance by supporting them. Look, I wasn't... I wasn't that bad that game, okay? I was, I was, okay, fine. I was that bad well, a you couple of times. Just listening to me. You were all right. <laughs> what? Oh my yeah. god, dude. I think you just have an issue with listening, but it's not all bad. It, I mean, it's, the, the problem is I'm very easily distracted, and I don't like using. Yeah, we that. noticed. Like, I. <laughs> I was diagnosed with ADHD from a young age. I know like 50% of the population has it, so big whoop, but like, still, um, yeah. Uh, I, I just, it's hard for me to focus on any one thing, especially if I'm SL, uh, or I should say multiple things. That's part of why SL's one of my favorite roles, because of the challenge, but, um, what ends up happening is I'm unduly challenging you guys. So. <sighs> Man. You're just making me mentally challenged. I am mentally challenged, okay? Joking. <laughs> Calm down. I'm not joking. Good. Someday I'll tell you guys about my actual myriad of mental illnesses that go beyond ADHD and the shit that I've been through with them, so, but... Fine, we, we don't need to know. That's a bit harsh, Luke. <laughs> no! I'm, I don't care, I mean... I didn't mean it like that. You didn't, tell, just... me, you didn't tell me you don't care about that shit. I, it doesn't bother me. Oh, mental illnesses. I just, I don't, I, I don't tell anyone about it because, well. Yeah, but if I'm, I'm telling I'm you about it and it's my, I mean? it's my shit. No, I get it, but like, it's one of them. It's just like, well, you can tell me about it, but I might not pay attention. Oh, okay. Which is like one of them. That's equally as, as rough. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's equally as brutal. Oh, <laughs> sake. Whatever. I, I, I just okay, can't so find I, the right I, I words. Just, yeah, so just stop, Luke. You're just digging a hole. <laughs> I, I want to say that... Are you trying to say that no matter what the explanation is, it's not going to change your expectations for interaction? <laughs> is that... You're trying to say it's not going to make any difference? 
Are you trying to say you that you've already set the bar so low? <laughs> I'm trying to help. I'm trying to run interpretation now, you know? <laughs> because I, I think it's more what, because... What the fuck's going on? <laughs> we're just, 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 just diggy hole, diggy diggy hole. Uh, we're we're much much the Tesseract's got mental illnesses he might tell us about in the future. Luke yeah. does not give a fuck. I just am deaf to tell you all my, my 98 year old grandmother says hello. Oh, 98 year old grandmother. Oh, Hello. 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 What'd you say, Tom? Everybody's talking at the same time. I said hi, 98 year old grandmother. Yeah. She told Tom, she told me to give you a hug. Oh, <laughs> oh that tickled I'm, me. I'm still recording, by the that. way, because I think this conversation is amazing and it needs to be on YouTube. Basically, okay. we spent about 15 minutes kind of like lightly roasting Cobbler. And then he mentioned, like, about his, like, the mental conditions he has. And Luke was like, you don't really need to tell us that. And then he tried yeah. to explain himself. And the more he tried to explain himself, the deeper the hole got. Like, he was just digging and digging. And we're just like, shut the fuck up, Luke. Uh, shut the yeah. fuck up. So that happened. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't sound like it went too well there, Luke. <laughs> I'm still digging. Still digging. Still digging. That Bigger trench still digging. than fucking Kursk. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> just before people start to jet off, I just want to say uh, thank you very much for all coming out and uh, and playing with us. Those of you that turned up early for, for the training stuff, I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, I hope maybe that you learned a couple of things and, you know, the more that we learn these things and the more we trust that each other's going to do those things, the better we'll probably get. But I really do appreciate you putting in the effort. I'm sorry that last game fucking sucked ass. Um, there was I enjoyed it. Not it was brilliant. Though. You enjoy sucking ass. We're wonderful. Um, I mean, not in that context. That's, that's up to you. But uh, yeah, it, uh, I didn't have like by the end, I literally got in a hole and was like, I just want this to be over now. So I'm just going to sit yep. in this hole. Um, four of us just in that house, just in the yeah. in the cradle, like, <laughs> this um, shit I've done. At the end, I was just literally running across the field trying to find people to shoot at. That's all I was doing at the end. I got think to the I... point where me and Aaron were in this hole and Cobbler got shot outside and I was like, I'm fucking going out there, so I just threw smoke at him and stayed in the hole. Yeah, I threw, <laughs> he threw one smoke one way and I threw a smoke the other way and I'm like, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, no, I think you guys did phenomenally well, but like the enemy team, I don't know what was like, who was coordinating it or what, but... The, the first two points they took and the last point that they took, there was definitely a, a clear um, strategy of we'll put down airheads and drop supplies around the strong point, we'll stack up ready to press it, and then like even though they often waited until the very, very end and we could have caught them out if they didn't have too many resources, they would push in at the end, uh, usually following a rocket barrage or something, like aiming to knock out our garrison. And in all honesty, like... I think our team is what let us down. The Blueberries is what let us down because you shouldn't really build a, a garrison in the strong point. But even if you're going to on offensive, you kind of need to build garrisons further out than the strong point, and you need to defend further out. Like everybody was just sitting in the strong point, and after the second one, I even said in command chat, like you know, when we were, I think it was Rudno, I was like, we need to push out when we see the supplies coming down and dismantle what it is that they've got going and like just it just didn't happen uh, to be fair i think with rudno it was a bit harder to do because of the terrain but by the time we got down to that last point it was pretty clear what was going to happen um and it happened very very quickly um but that's no um that's no negative on you guys i think you guys did phenomenally well and uh the games before that like you know still had a couple of teething issues but i think in general we did phenomenally well fucking amazing to be able to field two almost completely full infantry squad squads at one point yeah it did um, feel good um and i i just want to throw out there i i know i can do better okay but like tom you didn't hear these guys when you were deafened up they were really <laughs> taking the fucking piss out of me like i did not hear a single positive <laughs> feedback from any of these guys so maybe you can change that. 
Or maybe you can just Maybe I can change them being positive. No, no, no. Maybe you can change the fact that I never heard any positive feedback. I was oh. deafened, so I didn't hear anything they had to say. I'm, but what you I'm, you can catch it on the recording when we were in a later. Hole together. But what I will recording. say is that I like you as a person, but you as a squad leader is like babysitting a five-year-old. <laughs> oh my oh. Christ. <laughs> Guys, seriously. Well, well we would be listen, listen. joking around, but that's, that's the You're, fucking, like, that's the toughest one. But here's here's the the flip side of that is that you put a lot of time and effort and energy into learning what your mistakes are and doing your best to fix them. And I don't know a lot of people that put as much effort into making progress and in showing growth. As Thank you. you. Do. Thank you. I um I pride myself in growing as an individual, not just like with playing games, but like in real life but i mean obviously that translates to games like i don't think it's fun to play games the same way over and over again and continuously make the same mistakes and never learn from them some people they're like oh it's just a video game i don't care and then they'll just do that but it's not fun for you or the people around you so do i need to get so better absolutely fucking lootly there's a lot of shit that i could do uh, differently, but in the heat of the moment, it's often difficult to like apply all of those concepts at once. So I try to work, I try to work on one or two things at a time, and then just yep. do that. I think that's perfectly valid, and that's that's how I do, I how I learn as well. Um, what I will say, which is less of a, a positive and more of a just like it's not all your <laughs> okay. fault, is is that. Uh, you know, if if Ryan's going to bitch out and nobody else wants to be a squad leader... In fact, this is positive. If Ryan's going to bitch out and nobody else wants to be a squad leader, I fucking appreciate you stepping up, no matter yes, how bad of a job yes. you do with it. Thank yeah. you. Um, That's another really good point. That being said, um, there are things you need to learn. I don't know, like, because I wasn't in your squad, so I don't know, like, what the experience that those guys had of your individual leadership, but what I will say as the second half squad leader um and and we've only gotten to do it a couple of times and and it's i think every single time except for the first game today you've been the other person to lead the squad uh and i understand yeah. that it's not something that we do often and we didn't get chance to do any drill with it before we went on um hopefully next time in future we'll get a bit more chance to do drill with it if we get enough people um but like I know, I appreciate and understand that sometimes the squads are going to get separated because even an individual squad can get broken apart due to conditions. But I think if we really want things to be strong for the 33rd, that whoever is the other squad leader, although it's usually you, um, that they need to sort of like, you know, I don't care if, if me and you get our heads together and I'm like, I think we should push this way. And you go, what about if we go down that flank? I might still be like, all right, fuck it, let's do that. But yeah. and that what I think we need to do, it did. But but what I think we need to do and what we need to try and do and what we need to focus on doing is um, like the our squads need an objective and it needs to be a joint objective. I think hashing it out on command chat is not a good idea because it just means that more people are going to think like first of all we're occupying command channel and we shouldn't uh, and second yeah. of all like it's going to lead more people to be like these guys are clan how long like how many of them are in here and i know that there's a lot of servers that have rules against clans and shit and i don't want to fucking fall foul of that but the way i think it needs to work when we have multiple squads is the squads are so close that the squad leaders should just be able to get next to each other and use local chat to say this is what we need to do this is the plan like there was a couple of points where it worked really well um on uh Carantan where like you know uh moving into that farm even though at the at the start your, your squad wasn't there it was our squad and some blueberries uh, that were trying to push that farm. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, the blueberries all pushed straight across the field. I told my squad to push into the farm, and I don't remember who, and it doesn't matter who, but somebody was like, I'm pretty sure the farm's clear. All these blueberries are running across the field, and they're not getting killed. And as soon as I got to the wall of the farm, I found a fucking German shooting at the blueberries. And I was like, no, there are Germans in here. 
So then we killed him, and then there was another one, and it's like, yeah, they're a fucking shitload of Germans. But when your squad rocked up, I think my squad was just about beginning the assault. Your squad rocked up, and there was always there was some blueberries mixed in as well, which meant we had 12 plus. Because yeah. we had both of our squads plus the blueberries that imme- all at once, it seemed, because our guys, I think, went all at once, and the blueberries just happened to arrive at about the same time. But it meant that, like, two dozen plus people went over the walls into this farm and now yeah that's not a good idea if the enemy's got a bunch of mgs and shit but there was like one loosely formed squad of germans in there they have no fucking chance yeah against 15 guys coming over the walls at once and, one and i thing... think sorry go um, ahead. I, I think when i sort of called over to you once we'd occupied that farm let's push up to the main road and then drive north and then we moved out that was great and then again like when we were sitting on on the road occupying the road and great job to my squad by the way when i said occupy the road you all did that fantastically um i went i called over to you again and was like find out where that crowd just came from go and secure it you guys went off into the hedges to do that um and when you'd achieved that objective i was worried for a while because i kept looking at the map and i'm like i feel like kobler's just gonna fuck off down that field and never come back and I was starting to feel like that was what was going to happen, but then you guys came back, and I think that is the key: is if we want, if we're operating two squads, it needs to be the squads are together. They don't have to be in exactly like you might be on one end of a field and I might be on the other, but like it needs to be a case of what is our objective, how are we achieving it. Once it's achieved, if it included one of the elements moving away, like it did on the road where my squad was holding the top of the road, so that you had. Well, so that you didn't get flanked by a German squad coming, you know, up the road. Like, once you'd achieved your objective, you came back, it was like, right, what's the plan? And I was like, we need to drive down this road. Then you guys moved down and my squad was covering. I think that little part of Carantan around that farm worked really well. But the rest of the time we were on Carantan, I found myself looking at the map like, I'm not <coughs> sure where Kobler's squad is. Oh, no, there they are. They're on the opposite side of the uh, the defensive point to us. And again, I know that it's going to happen sometimes that we get split up. But I think there needs to be a conscious effort from both squad leaders um, to try to be cohesive with each other. Yes. um, And not just get bogged down in, well, I'm in this fight now, so fuck whatever they're doing. Like, this is the fight that's important. It's like, it's first of all, there's no point in us doing the 33rd if we're going to field four squads but none of the four of them ever help each other like that's pointless we might as well have just all said let's play hell let loose on a saturday and not bother with fucking discords and and squadding up and all of that shit um but i think you know it's just also like when we've seen the examples work two squads is incredibly effective working together all using the same sops because the amount of times i've tried to work with blueberries in the same situation where like which we were trying to do at the farmhouse before your guys turned up yeah i'm like there's germans in this next field and then there's blueberries just fucking jumping over the wall and running through the field and getting shot so i i wanted to i wanted to actually make a point about that um one thing i noticed is that when my squad and your squad got together and we were talking with each other Uh like on local chat the blueberries Uh around us were listening in and they were just kind of like okay, that now I know what these two squad leaders are doing. I'm gonna fall mm-hmm. in with them. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a uh, uh, you know a nice byproduct as well. Yeah. Is that the the blueberries around us will know what our plan is. There's twelve of us ish executing our plan plus four or five blueberries, which they, we're not relying on them, but they know what we're doing, so they can work around that. I think it's it is most like that's how we're gonna be the most effective. And yeah. Like, I do think in future it would be good if we, you know, develop the skills and the coordination where we can pincer movement the enemy. Like, yes. I'm talking really wide pincer movements. Yes. Like they were doing to us in that last game, where it's like the enemy was coming from the northeast and west and sometimes the south as well, all at the same time. That was clearly being coordinated. Yeah. But. I don't want the 33rd to become this thing where, like, you sod off to the left side of the map and I'm on the right side of the map and, you know, occasionally, yeah, no. you know, you're like, oh, I'll keep going, we'll pincer them. It's like, it's too much. Like, it's too big of a move 
Right. Like, we need to be close enough so that if... Like, I don't mind pincering an enemy position that's at the other end of a field and shit. That's fixing and flanking. That's what we're supposed to be doing. But yeah. it needs to be a case of, like when we were talking about active spaces and not having a single squad spread out over three active spaces, I think f for two squads to be considered to be working together, they really need to be in, at the bare minimum, adjacent active spaces. Um, so, like, obviously, if one squad is engaging an enemy position across a field, and, th and the second squad's job is to flank, they're going to have to move into other active spaces. They can't flank from the same field. That's not flanking. Um, but, like, if they're moving down, you know, the field to the right of the field that we're fighting across, that's fine. If they flank around the back of the enemy and, you know, they sort of end up in a different field and then they're in a, in the enemy's field, that's fine. But if they, you know, sort of drift off and it's like they go into the right field and then they're like, oh, fuck it, we've got to go further right. And then they're in the next right field and then they're like, all right, we're going to go diagonally right. All right, we're in a di it's like now they're like four active spaces away from the first team and then they get engaged and then they start like you know having to push themselves further further right because now they've got to deal with the engagement that they're in you know that might all well be fine if there's no other way to get to the team that like the enemy that team one is engaging but at some point team two needs to come back and do what they agreed with team one and i feel like what we need to be careful that we don't do is, you know, in that situation where you've had to flank right or you've had to flank there and you've been dragged into a different fight and then you've you've won that fight is is sort of going, oh, we're actually in a really strong position to, uh, you know, to do something else. Like, fuck going back all the way back there to help kill those guys. We're going to do this or, or just forgetting, like not even doing it deliberately, but just forgetting that the reason you were out in that field in the first place was to flank the enemy that team one was engaging i'm not saying you did this um no. pa particularly i'm just saying we need to avoid yeah. it um but like there was points where i could see the position that you were in was useful and the position that i was in was useful and i was like i'm not really sure how to combat this i don't know how to fix this but this is not what we are supposed to be doing like we're supposed to be helping each other and we couldn't be further away from doing that yeah it just may, like you know it makes each individual squad is back to being one squad and it's less effective especially not when we've done the uh, the squad compositions to be mutually supportive um it wasn't really possible in the first game even though we tried to go mg team and, and nj um it just didn't work out that way we couldn't ever get enough time to start building any defenses um but you know, I think in general, everybody did super well working together um, on the earlier maps. Kursk was a shit show. Um, well, and here's the other thing about Kursk. I know you guys really did not like that game, but we were still having some really solid, tight gameplay because obviously the first point was free. The second one, I mean, sure, we held it and... Could the enemy commander have taken it sooner? Yeah, probably. Like, I'm I'm almost certain now that, like, he was doing a type of psychological warfare where, like, he was essentially holding off on capping and, like, wearing us down with attrition. Because, obviously, if you wait 30 minutes to defend a point and the enemy takes it and then it resets the timer to 30 minutes again, that's a huge hit to morale. So, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he was doing that intentionally, which is genius, by the way. I might have to try that one out next time I go commander, but... Um, I, the, the I last... don't know if it was deliberately about the morale. I think it was more about the, the enemy commander was certainly patient enough to set up his striking points. Yes. Um, and maybe a byproduct of that was the whole morale hit. I don't think the morale hit was deliberate. But I okay. do think that the commander was deliberately being very, very patient in building up, like, we're going to get a Gary here, we're going to get a Gary to the east, we're going to get yeah. a Gary west, we're going to do an airhead to the south, we're going to get a Gary to the south, we're going to get a Gary southeast. And he was highly likely telling his squad leaders, like, you know, keep attacking, but, like, at some point we're going to attack, like, so-and-so will go from this garrison, so-and-so from that garrison. Like, and, and you know, 
the enemy armor was super effective as well. How much of it was the commander directing everything and how much of it was just good squad leaders communicating well? Like, defending on offensive is hard, especially yeah. on Kursk, because it is so well, fucking open and it is a, a battle. I know that everybody gets annoyed at Kursk because of this, but it is a map and a battle that was a tank battle. Yeah. Like, that's why there's more armor slots. And you basically... No, it's not in some, slots. Yeah, in some... Um, in most maps, rather, it's very much an infantry battle. There might be tanks, and tanks can sometimes make a big difference, but in general, the tanks are just a, you know, a fun sort of addition, a fun different thing to do. I think on Kursk, tanks are fucking crucial. If one side's tanks are good, and the other side's tanks are shit, the side that's got the good tankers is gonna win yeah like so, it's just not doable I, any other way real quick though before we um continue i just wanted to say like i know you guys hated that game and everything but we actually had some really tight control like on that second point we kept it held down for a long time and i mean yeah and like on the on the point behind that one like near where the yellow house was i forget what it's called but, like, Tom, yep. when you were standing out there with your binox up and you were calling out all the shit constant, it was like a constant stream of, like, intel. And mm -hmm. all the blueberries around you, like, they were actually paying attention. And, oh, it, it just felt so good because yeah. we were getting shit done. And, like... I agree. Yeah. I think certainly on those... I guess it was the second and third point because the first point was the one that they overran. But like yeah. certainly on those two points, I feel like the team in general was doing pretty well and everybody in our group was doing phenomenally well on both of those points. Um, I do think for anybody who's going to be a squad leader in similar situations like that, i.e. defending on uh, offensive because that's a very particular thing it doesn't if you're defending on warfare it's a different game entirely yeah. and you know if you're attacking it's a different game entirely but defending on offensive mode like the squad leaders really should be finding good observation positions and then not only you know getting their own squad organized but using local chat to just feed information to the blueberries give the blueberries instructions like you don't it doesn't matter if they don't listen to it but the like like you said Kobler, i was calling sh stuff out and being yeah. like you know mg give it a couple of bursts or the guys there mg up fire on that position like i had an mg i could have been talking to my mg but there was two blueberry mgs that were also doing it and it's like yeah. fuck it three mgs is better than one <laughs> like that guy is not gonna stick his head back up for a little while if he's still alive but like that's i think the thing that let us down at the we got unlucky at the, the 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 second point so the first one with we tried significantly to defend who did we lose Imo. oh well yeah um the the second point i think we just got unlucky like it was a really really solid defensive effort and they only just started capping i do think we were a little bit let down by the fact that uh you know the team didn't have garrisons up um really in supporting yeah. positions um and I tried a couple of times to get them in, but it was one of those, because it was Kursk, it was one of those where if we start running away from the strong point, we're going to get shot in the back. Yeah. Like, it's too open. So I do understand why maybe it didn't happen, but I think that's what fucked us on the first one. We just got unlucky, really. On the second point that we were defending, the one with the yellow house, I think that the biggest issue we faced was um, essentially that because it was before I told the rest of the squad leaders, the rest of command net, what the enemy's strategy was, even though they'd done it on the, the point before. Yeah. It wasn't until they did it on two points that I was like, okay, this is deliberate. Their commander is deliberately, you know, putting these yeah. airdrops in and putting these supply drops in. But, like, the thing that fucked us is, yes, me calling out a string of intel to everybody, including the blueberries, is very useful. And I had a really solid observation point on the north side and even slightly on the east side. But the thing that fucked us was nobody was watching south, which admittedly that's not a crucial sector, but nobody was watching west. And I feel bad that I didn't say it. I feel like I said it in local chat a couple of times, but like I didn't even say it beforehand. 
if you look at that map st from a strategic standpoint that point rather from a strategic standpoint the ridge that they were trying to come over that i was observing is the first obvious most attack point because they can put a garrison immediately behind the ridge you can't kill anybody that's respawning on it unless you control the ridge and controlling the ridge means sitting out in the open i tried to push up there at the very beginning because i knew that was going to happen but i got there and got dropped which is to kind of be expected but the other strategic sort of um crucial point that i identified is the village to the west of the strong point because there's a road there's loads of houses on both sides of the road so like there's a lot of cover that allows them to get in close and yeah. that even though they airdrop the supplies in which they really didn't need to and it telegraphed to me at least that that's where they're putting a garrison there was fuck all i could do about it on my jack jones there's fuck all <laughs> one squad could do about it on their jack jones once yeah. they've got that thing in you're just as pinned in as they are um what we really needed was for somebody to take command of the western flank and not just the western side of the strong point itself because again i say this a lot defense in depth is, is super important on offensive because there's only one point to defend and they have to get inside the point to actually cap it on warfare it, defense in depth is less important because you know if their whole team is standing on the very very corner of one of the grid squares and your team fucks off into an irrelevant grid they're going to cap it even without setting foot in the strong point but in offensive they have to get inside the strong point and that for me means defense in depth is crucial if you sit inside the strong point with one garrison and a bunch of ops and try and hold them off if you do a good enough job you might be able to keep them at arm's reach but guess what happens as soon as they get past your hand you die You're fucked. yeah because you've got nothing they, they literally they as soon as they start to however they get past whatever the method that they use is as soon as they're past that arms arms length defense then your OPs go, your garrison goes, you, you start getting killed, you start getting flanked, because don't forget as well, if everybody on the enemy team is pushing into a small circle, which everyone on our team is in, not only do they start to knock out OPs and potentially they can spot and destroy the garrison, and they're obviously killing people as they fight, but what you find is the people defending the north, for example, might have perfectly adequate defences for holding the north, but now somebody at the south can see over the south defences at the backs of the guys defending yeah. the north. And then they start dropping them. Then your north collapses because it gets shot from the south. The, the enemy on the northern side overruns the defences. They shoot the south in the back. Then the north and the south all climb over the defences and the east and the west are fucked because they've got to fight outwards but they're also getting shot in the back by guys flooding in from two angles. Yeah. So the only way that you can defend on offensive is defense in depth you've got to identify the strategic positions that the enemy are going to use or that they're going to want to use to get to the strong point and i think the ridge to the north is one of them but it's definitely one that's really hard to hold because as soon as you're on the ridge everybody of to the north of the map can see you but i think the crucial one on that strong point is the village to the west and really we needed at least one squad possibly two to take ownership of not the western side of the strong point circle itself but the pushing out from there controlling that house where they put their supplies controlling the north side they don't have to go super far and i don't think that they should fight their way to the end of the village because if you fight your way to the end of the village the enemy's just going to slip in behind you from the north kill you by shooting you in the back and then you've lost all your progress but there needs to be an element of you know a squad holding outside of the strong point because they're denying the enemy garrison positions yeah and that's what we failed to do on that point as a team was we just allowed and it happened on every single point really we allowed the enemy to drop airheads and supplies wherever they wanted them and they had garrisons probably five or six garrisons around every single strong point because the only people that tried to push out to neutralize them were your squad and my squad and some t like basically yeah. every time because the enemy commander was good enough to drop them a decent distance away we couldn't get to them before they'd spawned so then it's like the the second point we did a decent job of containing the ones that did spawn on the airhead but we couldn't get to the airhead which meant that they got garrisons in some of them went to ground like at that point 
it's like a, a fucking cancer like you can't you can't dig them out on Kursk especially because it's so open if you start moving through that field looking for the enemy OPs and the enemy uh, garrison and the enemy troops you're dead fucking not only are the ones that are lying in the grass going to kill you but the ones that are attacking from the north are going to go is that a German silhouette yeah. walking through that field bang not anymore <laughs> fuck you like it's it's just it's a map that is difficult but I do think something that needs to happen the more that we get squad leaders that squad lead a lot is we need to start working together and especially on defensive and offensive which i hope we don't have to do a lot of but we need to do on each point a strategic assessment of where are the enemy going to look to put a staging point especially if it's an enemy that plays the way that one did but even if it's not like what is a good control like <laughs> it's so fucking like it feels counterintuitive right because you can only defend the strong point from inside it but you can also only cap the strong point from inside it which means if you put a shell of squads right if you had 50 people that would actually listen if you yeah. put a shell of squads around the outside of the strong point circle but they were a solid shell like they had good defensive positions they built defenses for themselves they didn't leave their positions like sure the enemy can cap the strong point if they get inside it, but how the fuck are they going to get inside it? Like, yeah. they can't. And it means even if one of the positions starts to kind of get overrun or they start taking casualties, you know, if you've got squads that are working well together, you can have somebody from adjacent sort of sectors cover your bit for a bit until you can get back on the shit. But, like, even if you get, like, completely wiped out from a distance, at range, I mean, like, you lose a lot of men... You just respawn and go back. Like, your OP should be on your sector anyway. Then you've got the garrison in the middle. Like, your guys should be able to just stay on the defences and keep them manned. But I think if you defend from inside the strong point, especially on Kursk, but in general anyway, if you defend from inside the strong point, you're essentially guaranteeing that you will lose to any... to an enemy team with any competence. Like... It's not hard. Like, I noticed it more on um, Rudno when we were defending the Rudno point. Like, people started pushing out into the trenches, which was good. Um, but then, like, everybody started dying in the trenches. And slowly but surely, the Russians got closer to the strong point. And then it reached the point where not only were the Russians close to the strong point, they were on the edge of the strong point. But also, what you started to see was like this top the northern half of the strong point was devoid of defenders because anybody trying to run through there was getting killed by the russians sitting on the edge of it so we we started off trying to defend in depth to the north through the trenches the defense in depth got pushed back they pushed right up to the edge of the strong point then it was that, that they cleared out the top half of the strong point and then because they were flanking they got rid of the garrison and you know like nobody had anywhere to go but like even before they took the garrison the writing was on the wall at the Rudno point for me because it's like we've yeah. lost half of the strong point even before we've lost the strong point like yeah. we don't have full control of the strong point we don't have maneuverability we don't have defense in depth on the flanks we don't have rear security we've lost the front like there's no fucking way we're holding this and it's one of those things where recognizing that is sometimes redundant because it's like I could have said to my squad and even to you, fuck this, let's pull out and go and start preparing defences at the next point because we are going to lose this the way this is. But the minute we leave, we take 12 people away from the body count, then the enemy probably starts capping. So it's like, you've got yeah. to stay even though that's, you know, you've recognised the strategic situation. But like, yeah, on, on offensive, on defence, like, I think that defence in depth and having squad leaders like, I say this all the time, when you're the squad leader, your most valuable weapon is your binoculars and your mouth. Yes. Like, just, you sh in any situation, but especially a static defense. I didn't even get my rifle out. Like, I was just you fucking binoculars and telling everybody else where to shoot. Because yeah. they can't fucking see, but I can see that Rusky hiding behind that tree, thinking that his big square head is the same shape as a tree trunk. <laughs> like, fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to tell 56 machine guns to shoot that tree, and I hope you're a skinny fucker, because if you're not, Vladimir you're going to eat lead. Yeah, Vladimir Barkov. <laughs> like, but, but, you know, like, I do think that we did well as a group. Like, everybody who participated, I think we did really well. Uh, I think the first game, 
Um, we struggled, but it was mostly because uh, because we were coming in, we didn't get much chance to hold Chapel. Although I think even then, I know Ryan came in through the canal and my squad were coming in from the bottom, which again means the squads aren't supporting each other. That wasn't what we were trying to do, but it also wasn't how we geared up the squad comps. So like, I, I, it got to the point where Ryan's squad drifted to the south and started to assist. And I feel like we did pretty well there. But part of the problem is we ended yeah, up I pushing well, out of the... Point, uh, like people were still kind of fading in. We were still coming yes. back from breaks and stuff. And I'm like, yes. I said to you, are we hanging around and get, gathering up or are we going? And you said, just go. So yeah, I, mean, I, like, I took them in. <laughs> and then yeah, once yeah, yeah. we got to a point where we could get to you, I moved us down to help. And I, and I think once we started to do that, it actually started to work really well. Those of you who were there can sort of decide for yourselves if you agree. But I, it was a little bit more sporadic because and it always will be in the first few games we play. But like, we actually pushed the enemy out. We pushed them back. I even found out where their garrison was and it was way further south than I thought it was going to be. But that garrison placement for them is really intelligent because in order for the enemy to destroy it, if it's not a recon team doing what they should be doing, which is fucking recon, like, you basically pull an enemy infantry squad, probably, away from the defense of the grid squares, so their bodies are no longer counting for the defense. And that's what happened, I feel, is that we had two squads that were pushing south really well, but we moved out of the grid squares, and almost as soon as we moved out of the grid squares is when the cap started to flip. And I think it probably started to flip because the 12 of us were a significant portion of the bodies defending. And as soon as we stepped out, the enemy had num numerical superiority. They started to cap. But then, like, you know, once they start to cap, you, like, you have to think about the psychology of a blueberry. Once a point starts to get capped, everybody that's stupid, which is... 40, uh, 38 people on our team and 50 people on the enemy team <laughs> if there's 12 of us everybody who's stupid thinks oh there's a cap race the only way to win a cap race is to banzai charge the strong point <clears throat> so all of our blueberries start banzai charging the strong point to get in there and stop the cap which means they get shot and die and now count for nothing but you also have the adverse side of it, which is the enemy that maybe like has encroached on the strong point is still dug in. They're probably going to hold position and keep shooting because they're either in the strong point or close to it and they can see the enemy. So they're going to keep going for kills. But any enemy, I don't know what you would call them, red berries, I guess. Any enemy <laughs> red berries that are like... Raspberries. Yeah, there any enemy go. raspberries. We'll go with that. Any raspberries that are not close enough to the strong point to see what the situation is, is going to see that their team has started to cap and go, fuck it, I didn't realize we were doing that well, but let's get in there and help. And they all come fucking rushing forward. So not only do the blueberries who are rushing forward into enemy fire because they're thick as fuck die and count for nothing, but the enemy gets even more bodies on point in the first place because the raspberries also come sprinting forward. And they probably occupy the positions where the forward raspberries are because they get in the trench with them and go, Hi, how many blueberries have you killed? And they're like, 65 million. They just keep coming. <laughs> and they're all in the trenches going, Fucking wicked. Bang, 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 bang. And then at that point, it doesn't matter how many of us we have that are working together. Like, if we go back I to that strong point... I feel personally attacked. <laughs> good, because you're probably one of them. But, like... <laughs> It doesn't matter if we all push back at that point as a cohesive 12 man unit of two squads because there's now 50 raspberries in a trench. Like, there's fuck all that any of us can do about that. So the minute you start to lose a point, and I think that's what happened to us at Chapel on that match, we stepped out of the, the grid squares, the enemy started capping, the blueberries rushed forward, they all got killed, the raspberries all rushed forward, they didn't get killed because the blueberries were all already dead, and then it was like, you know, before we knew what was going on, we'd lost the point. Um, that was more or less what happened, the, the two points after that as well, I think. Um, certainly, uh, you know, the enemy armor was, again, I think enemy armor fucked us over. Like, you know, I do look forward to the day that we can maybe get two infantry squads and a tank. Because armor being used like effectively... <laughs> yeah. Armor being used effectively 
even if it's not like you know if it's hanging back and firing into the enemy like you know it fucked us up that tank on the the, the last two points on that map um i do think on the the second game the middle game the Carantan game there was points where we worked really really well together but then we spent a large portion of the game uh separate and i think part of that is you know we need to get together more um on the map uh to decide what our next objective is as squad leaders um but also just like squad leaders need to have this kind of mindset when we're working with multiple 33rd squads of i've been separated from the other squad now for 10 15 minutes where are they and can i get to them i did that once when i was like when uh, when i realized we needed to change the squad comps cobbler because we had mgs and, and engineers and shit um yeah. i i actively did that i was like where is cobbler and rather than deploying at the garrison next to the strong point and trying to defend it um i deployed back at the lowest spawn and started chasing after you so that we could get together but yeah. i think that needs to happen anyway when the squad's like unless there's a super important strategic reason like if you're holding something crucial like fine i guess but then maybe you should get on squad net and inform the other uh 33rd commander directly which you were pretty good at coming me directly but like inform them that like hey i can't leave this position i'm in a really strong defensive position or a really strategically important position and then maybe that gives that other squad leader pause to go okay should we be moving to him then yeah but like if we just continue fighting the battle like as our own squads i think that's when it becomes the weakest and like i i i don't i don't know how but how good or bad you did as a squad leader because i wasn't well, in your squad and um, uh you'll have an opportunity to look at the video once it's uploaded in fact i've got um i've got a few videos of recent hell at loose gameplay and this is going to be the ultimate one in the playlist currently when it goes up because this is the latest one uh but you'll you'll get kind of a chance to see things from mm -hmm. my perspective and like how i was working with you guys and you might actually have the opportunity to go oh yeah well kobler knackered this up here uh, if he just did this one thing a little bit differently, it could be much better. And then, like, if you wanted to watch that and then come back and tell me, oh, yeah, by the way, I watched your, uh, video, uh, check this timestamp, like, here's what you could have done better. And it's like, oh, okay. So, I mean... My main criticism was Cobbler, and after what? he mentioned he's got ADHD, it makes a lot more sense, is... He will will be uh, will be like doing something, and you can you can feel the moment his brain identifies an issue, and he just yes. goes click. I've got to deal with it, and he doesn't say, Ryan, Imitech Cal, I've noticed this. Um, Imitech set up here. We're going to push this way, and we're going to deal with it. He just goes and deals with it, and then it often led to us three kind of arse in the breeze, kind of going like, what are we doing? <laughs> What's the problem here? Where, are we going over there? Or are we going over here? I thought we were going this way. Because yeah. and the cobbler's just head down, storming towards this problem he's identified, and we have no idea what's happening. Well, and that's that's the problem because that that's actually an issue that I have, and I don't know if it's ADHD or it could be like a personality thing or whatever. But pretty much, if I if I see something that is absolutely critical or time sensitive or like dangerous and it's something that's actionable and needs to get done, I just, I just do it. I don't think about the fact that I have a squad and I can say, oh yeah, you go over there and fix this uh, while I do that. Like, I just think to myself, okay, I need to get this done. And it, like, Quafix, now that you mention it, like, yeah, I can absolutely see that happening. I, I mean, mean, so... I've seen evidence of that multiple times, Kobler, and, and I yeah. think... Uh, no worries, Wonka, feel free... Oh, well, fuck you then. Um, <laughs> I think that is something... I don't know... Obviously, I don't know if you can... Um, if it is ADHD-related, obviously, you can't stop doing it. Well, But no, it's no, definitely no. Like, something... I can, I can change any behavior that I have. It's just, All right, we'll change it then. Yeah, 
it's just a matter of uh like well i mean it's it's one of those where like again i i kind of say like um part of it is i'm not blaming you because we haven't had much chance to run double squads so there is a an adjustment period for everybody anyway but the biggest adjustment is arguably for the squad leaders because yes. like everybody within the squads is still just going to do squad shit and go where the squad leader says and uh, oddly like oddly or unfairly i'm not sure which but like it's not an adjustment for me because i know how it's supposed to work i because i'm the one who said how i want it to work yeah so like it's not an adjustment for me in that I'm like, I understand what I expect from the other squad leader in the situation, but it is an adjustment for you. So to a degree, I'm willing to give more leeway and more time and say like, okay, well, you know, it's new, like we're still struggling with it. But like, it is a problem with you that I've noticed when I have been squad led by you. It's a problem with, that you've had previously when we've done the, um, you know, the joint squads, you know, it happened in the tank when we yeah. you yeah. fucked off over the bridge and i was saying we can't get to you there's a machine gun and it was like fucking cobbler's in tunnel vision and he's decided he's going to drive into the town anyway <laughs> well so fuck it i like you said no, i don't want to hear well like the point is like it exists and it was the same with the mg team the very first time we tried to do it where it was like i had the mg part of the section and you had the assault part yeah and it was like all right I we've got you that. covered cross that field and deal with that and then it was like fucking 20 minutes later like where the fuck's he gone <laughs> and i'd be on the radio going cobbler is it clear for us to come up like what the like because you've told us nothing and again cobbler's got tunnel vision doesn't answer the radio which i know that's a thing because i had it today i didn't hear command telling me to put a garrison in but like it's the fact that it's it's very consistent when you squad lead that like I you, know. You, if I send you over a wall, I might as well have sent you to fucking Vietnam. <laughs> like, you just don't come back. It's like okay. fucking. You just charge off because I get it. Like when you get in the next field, the next field has a different set of problems, and the different set of problems are a hundred meters further away because they're on the other side of the field. So it's like, oh, I need to get that, and it's like, no. What you need to do in that situation is explain or, or relay to the other element the other squad that hey you can yeah. move up to our position because then they will move up to where you are and yes. they will cover you on to the next problem but yes. like if you just and and again like ryan said you do it as a squad leader i've seen you do it as a squad leader i've seen you do it when i was the other squad leader like you do have a tendency to just sort of go oh without really communicating with anyone I'm just going to smash forward like fucking, you know, a barrel and just go, I'm fucking up whatever's in front of me. And it's like, it is, you know, being a squad leader is difficult anyway, but I, being a squad leader that's trying to work closely with another squad leader is, as far as I'm aware, practically unheard of. Yeah, and I, I will it's... say the, the barrel strategy works much better if you're in a tank. Um, and Tom, I, I, I also want you to know this, like, when I go tank commander, I'm constantly giving orders to the driver and gunner, like, exactly what to do, like, n not necessarily micromanaging, but, um, very close to it, uh, but for me, it's easier to do that when I'm in a tank, because I don't think of my squad as, like, an extension of myself, whereas... If I'm in a tank... But you know why that is? Because in a tank, it's physically impossible for you to run away because you're not yes. the one driving. Yeah, and it's like, I know, okay, if I want to get there, I can't just go there. I have to give orders to my driver. So right, if I they frame, don't get a choice either. Yeah. Like, and, they have to stay in the tank. Yeah, and if I frame that in the context of I can't just go fuck off and do this on my own... I have to get my squad to help me, or I have to tell the other squad so they can come in and help me, then I think that might be a good way to do it. Uh, just to build the habit, you know? I mean, if you want to think of two infantry squads as a tank, go for it. Because in my well, mind, it's not, it's not quite the same in the sense that I don't think of them as a tank, but I think of them as a cohesive unit. Like a well, platoon, yeah, that's, a I mean, very small platoon. I'm, like, I'm, yeah, and I mean, I'm talking in the abstract here. I don't mean like, oh, I'm going to treat everyone like they're in a tank squad. No, it's like, 
No, I know that. But like, if you if you if it helps you to think of two infantry squads as like a tank in that yeah. you can't walk away from them without them coming too, yeah. then go ahead. Because what I'm saying is, without it being a tank, that's exactly how I look at two infantry squads. Is this is a a half strength platoon? They need to be moving together, which is why I yeah. will very often sit aghast on a hedgerow when the other half of my platoon decides that it's going to fuck off over a ridge and do whatever it fancies because it's got a better idea. And I'm like, if that was like to go with your analogy, that's like the turret of the tank being left behind by the tracks because the <laughs> chassis decided it wants to be in another field. And then the turret's sitting there going, why am I unable to move now? Where did the chassis go? And the chassis like, oh, hashtag sauce, bro. We, we saw a thing. Like, it might have been a rabbit. Who knows? Could be a McDonald's. You should probably catch up. And the turret's just like, how am I meant to catch up? You've taken half of me away. Oh, God. Do you know what Cobbler reminds me of sometimes? That fucking dog from the fucking, that Disney or Pixar film. Up. And he's like, middle of a conversation. He's just like, squirrel. From up. Yes. Yeah, that's Cobbler. Like, squirrel. Classic. <laughs> Classic, classic, fuck, classic textbook ADHD. That's what that is. Right, but I mean, you can ask Erin. Although I think she's deafened right now. She's, oh, no, she's not deafened. Erin believes that I might have fucking ADHD. So like, you know, to a degree, and I w it makes fucking sense. Yeah. But so I am able to lightning focus on we should be operating as one unit, and that's yes. I think probably why I struggle so much when you take half of it away and piss off. I'm like, this isn't how it's supposed to work. I know. And now it, now it's, I'm annoyed. Yeah. No, I, I totally, I totally get it, Tom. Uh, it's interesting because, like, between me, Tom, and Kobler, because, like, I have ADHD as well. You see how ADHD presents. ADHD is a spectrum. So, like, you see every single side of the spectrum between me, Tom, and Kobler. Like... I'm really good at following direction, and I'm very efficient at taking direction. Uh, Tom hyper focuses, and he fucking like immerses himself in everything. And then Kobler is the hyperactive one that's just like, "Ooh, squirrel!" <laughs> so, like, well, and I I hyper focus on like one thing as well, but that one thing is often the squirrel that uh, ran in front of me. You know? Right. So. Yeah. And then like, I, 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 like, like you guys were saying, I get tunnel vision. I don't focus on anything else. Yes, which is uh, less than ideal, but, uh, well, it's a work in progress. <laughs> right. And like I said earlier, like, I appreciate that like nine, 19 percent, 90 percent of the time that I've asked for a second person to step up to squad lead, you've thrown yourself in there. Yeah. And, and uh, here, you take quite a bit of shit for it. Um, yeah, which... but here, here's why. To me, all of this is just one massive challenge. And I enjoy challenging myself. I find it a lot of fun. Good. Could and... you do that instead of challenging me? <laughs> yes, I'll try. I think I've gotten I better at that over time, though. I actually just meant, like, don't make it harder for me. I didn't mean, okay. like, physically, like, no, challenging okay, me, but... Right. Challenging you have gotten and... better at not like challenging me challenging <laughs> me but like i meant i don't do this to test myself please stop testing me <laughs> okay <clears throat> i think it, for next week's training if if enough people turn up quick enough um rather than going over i might very very quickly go over some of the sort of infantry movement again like but it'll be more of form a column more of like a uh, drill. push up on that hedge yeah, yeah. like uh, push up on that hedge run the rabbit cross the field two by two bounding and then we'll just move on to something else just to double check that everybody remembers it but i think and again I, there's a multitude of reasons why i said i think doing train and i know some of you including you cobbler have said we should do it but like why i said let's do training and why i made it 12 o'clock on a Saturday before we're supposed to start streaming because I think 12 o'clock on a Saturday more people are likely to turn up if they're planning on turning up to the stream and the actual combat they're a lot more likely to turn up for the training yeah. uh, than if it was on a different day um, but what I would like 
like there's a multitude of reasons one teaching new people two refreshing things like we did today but three i think educating squad leaders and practicing squad tactics and movement and how it's going to work because we've never done that yeah and we've barely ever had chance to do it that's why and my my vision for that might be different from like what you would think tom but um originally when i thought of like okay how are we actually going to do this where we have squads coordinating like if we're on the training server we have say two squads of like six or five or what have you uh your sl me or someone else's sl and everyone is deafened up we're only using the in-game comms and mm -hmm. what you might be doing tom is saying like on the uh command chat because it's only would be the two of us or like you and whoever yeah. else is sl but i'm using myself as an example like you might say oh yeah by the way um like do this or whatever but it could also be uh, uh one sec Right, give me How one do you moment. feel? I'm after sorry. Your... Yeah, no worries. How do you feel after your jab, Rob? If you're still there. I am sorry. I'm just fighting my way through the tree system very please. Uh, yeah, not not bad actually. Um, they jabbed me. It took about 20 minutes in and out. Uh, most the of that one. was yeah. Most of that was chatting to the nurses because they kept asking me what I'd done because I was in a wheelchair. Yeah. And uh, wearing shorts, so the um, like foot long scar. Okay, I'm back. Fully on display. And, uh... You should have told them you were fighting an elephant. You should have yeah. told them you were fighting Cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the size of an elephant, so it makes sense. Um, oh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus. so... So, yeah, uh, as I was saying, I, I don't want to interrupt people, but, um, like, what I was thinking, Tom, is you might do stuff where you're telling me, like what to do like as as the squad um or we're we're like coordinating with each other but on top of that overlaying that you might also be telling me by the way cobbler this is what i'm doing right now this is how i'm managing my squad uh and that kind of thing or tom everyone in discord can be deafened except you and me and, like, yeah. I'm hearing you giving orders to people and then thinking, okay, this is probably what I should be doing. I should model uh, my, I don't want to say micromanaging, but my tactics after, like, what you're doing. And that's what I would like to do. Um, because I know tactics and strategy and the metagame in a more abstract sense. But when it comes to the concrete of, like, okay, this is how, this is exactly what this means when I say this. You know, moving, uh, like, running the rabbit, um, bounding, uh, moving, holding, you know, uh, going in a line, going in a, uh, a column, you know, all this stuff. That's, that's kind of the hard knowledge that i lack and right i think if i learn that i can apply what i know about strategy and tactics to that and know intuitively okay this is the formation that i should use for this situation all right right then uh wedge formation let's move you know mm -hmm. so we should I just take him through westville rangers training probably um, I do think that uh, part of the problem with uh, with Hell Let Loose is there's never, there's very rarely, I should say, uh, a reason to use any formation other than a column or a staggered column, which sure. is uh, just you, the difference is that, you know, You're staggered. one on one side, yeah, one on one yeah. side of the road, one on the other, so on and so forth. But like, there's very little reason to use any formation beyond that, especially if the people that are in your squad don't know what these formations are. If I yeah. have to explain what a line is, by the time I've finished doing it, I probably don't need a line anymore. Yeah. If I have to explain what a wedge is, I, by the time I've finished doing it, I probably don't need a wedge anymore. Um, so, like, 
the first thing I would say to you is whilst I do understand and agree with what you're saying and I think you are correct is like try not to get bogged down too much into like looking at it like uh, a manual yeah the minutia yeah. of like oh I need to use a wedge across this field like you rarely do unless the people you're with are quick enough that you can say form a wedge and advance on me and they immediately do it yeah and like, don't don't get me wrong either I don't mean like I look at something and then I I sit there analyzing like hmm what would be the best uh, thing to do here ah yes and then do that and by that time we've already been flanked and like massacred by Germans but it's more of like I can look at any given situation and intuit like boom this is what I need to do and then just yeah. do it without even yeah. thinking about it so and I know I can get to that point I've I can do that with a lot of things in Hell Let Loose already um, mostly like oh. the mechanics and the me. the actual meta so I, I know it's just a matter of time before it becomes muscle memory time and practice <laughs> I hope so. Um, you know, I do understand as well that, like, uh, a large portion of the issue is that uh, the, the the people that we have in the squads, <clears throat> have bad if they're manners. not brand new, <laughs> no, if they're not brand new and and, uh, and they, they don't know any of it at all, then they know some of it. But they don't know all of the like actual like hundred percent minutia. But yeah, um, but they shouldn't need even to. Even beyond that, no, they shouldn't need to. Um, but even beyond that, like there's an element of something that I want everybody in here, especially if you're interested in doing um, squad leading. But you especially, Kobler, because of it's a prevalent issue with you already, and you do want to do squad leading. Is a key component of leadership is trust. Yes. And I honestly feel like, due to your uh, propensity to chase the squirrel, that anybody who's been led by you in the past has a serious issue with trusting that you know what decisions you're making yes. or that you're communicating what needs to be communicated I because agree. you frequently demonstrate the opposite. The yeah. difference is, um, and I think at least, um, the difference is... When people are in my squad, they trust that if I'm telling them something or asking them to do something, that not only is that the right decision to do, but that, like, if I'm not doing that, I don't need them to do anything different to what they're already doing. And they don't feel like, you know, they're going to get left behind because I haven't told them we're leaving or, you know, like, that they don't feel like they're being left out on a limb. They're not forgotten about. Um, there's a key component of leadership in, in any leadership is trust and a key component of leadership in squad let, uh, squad let loose uh, hell let loose is squad management so like you don't need to micromanage everybody sometimes it's a case of you know it happens to me a lot when we stop I'll turn around I did it during training today but I also do it in the battlefield uh, role like I'll stop we'll stop and I'll turn around or I'll look at somebody else in the squad and I'll just be like nice one holding that angle mate or whatever like good job getting the cover in there like that means that they've they trust that if they do something well and this goes back to roman legion leadership uh, leadership principles it's not just if you fuck up that i'm like why are you a twat if you do something well i also say good job with that keep it keep it up keep doing that yeah. and that's how people learn that that's the correct behavior is because they are told when they're doing it well and they're told when they're doing it wrong but positive I, reinforcement is uh, a million times more effective than negative reinforcement. Yes, if you want exactly. a psychological explanation. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, come on, guys, give me some positive once in a while. No. What did you say, Rob? But Tom, you're so good at negative reinforcement. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought you'd said. Um, no, I know, and like the thing is, like I do get super immersed in it, and and part of it is like if somebody's for instance, being a fucking lemon and standing up uh, uh, on the edge of a, f a fucking berm. And like, like I'm so immersed in it that I want to tell them, I want to physically grab them by the backpack and haul them back into the fucking trench because <laughs> I'm like, you're going to get yourself killed. But there's also the, the added bonus or the added uh, 
thought process, which is not only are you going to get yourself killed, but you're probably going to get me and the rest of this squad killed because nobody knew we were here until you started standing out there like a dick in the wind. <laughs> and now everyone knows we're here. Two words, grease gun. <laughs> I like the imagery of standing there like a dick in the wind. My god. It's Floppy. the only way I can dry it. <laughs> What'd you say, Rob? It's the only way I can dry it. <laughs> <laughs> but, I think, again, to reiterate there, that the... And everybody should take this on board if you want to do squad leading. One of the key principles of leadership is trust. And I don't feel like anyone who's ever rolled with you before has any trust that you... I don't think the trust is that you don't know what you're doing in terms of, like, no one thinks you're a moron. And, like, everybody, I'm sure, recognizes well, I've, I've heard that differently. Uh... Well, maybe, but, like, <laughs> it depends on where you draw the line. Like, I'm yeah, not okay. saying anybody here thinks you're intellectually, like, dense or intellectually <laughs> poor. But it's like, you could be the, the smartest person in the world, but if you fail to communicate that genius, everyone's going to think you're an idiot. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I think that's where the trust comes in with you, is not necessarily that people think that you don't know what you're doing, but that they don't know what you're doing most of the fucking time. And, like, I I think that's the biggest issue. It's... If I could... I, it's hard, because, like... I don't want to feel like I'm... I don't want you to feel like I'm just bashing you, because, again, I do... I appreciate and respect the shit out of the fact that you step up every time... But I Thank also you. feel like there's a lot of elements of, you know, we've had conversations a multitude of times about a, a wide array of different things. Some of them yeah. squad lead related and some of them just, you know, squad based infantry tactics related. Yeah. And you are fairly slow on the uptake is probably the polite way of putting it. No, that's like, fine. I, I, I'm I, fairly sure we've had this conversation three times. Is a sentence I've said to you at least three times. <laughs> and it is. Okay. Um, so, like, I think if I could sort of emphasize one thing for you to focus on when you're going to be a squad leader, it would be yes. slow it down and communicate with your squad. Like, it, at the okay. end of the day, no matter how well we do right there will be games that we lose right and this is the way that i approach squad leading so it's sort of inside tip trick from me it doesn't matter how well we do sometimes you we could do fucking phenomenally as a squad and still lose the battle in fact we did do phenomenally as two squads as a platoon today and we still lost the battle and like you said it's not that we did anything wrong we actually did really really well and i agree with you but we still lost the battle so yeah. what I want to get across to you is I know that with you, like you said, you identify the squirrel and it's like I can I have the means to deal with the squirrel and the squirrel is time sensitive. So I'm <laughs> going to chase the squirrel. Yeah. And the message I'm trying to get across to you is you chasing the squirrel is the reason that all five of the people behind you and potentially the other six watching you from the opposite side of the field <laughs> don't trust you as a squad leader. Yeah. Because if you see a squirrel, you will fuck off. So, slow it down, communicate to the squad, there's a squirrel in the next field, we're gonna go get him. And even if when you jump over the hedge or you pop out and you shoot at where the squirrel was, you go, fuck, the squirrel's gone. It is not the end of the fucking world. Yeah. Like, the squirrel will will be gone half the fucking time, even if you move immediately. Yeah. But the thing that happens is, and, and I think it's probably the source of the weakness, like your weakness in many areas, like the firing over a field with a grease gun shit, or the stealing of a, of a transport truck or a supply truck. It's all impatience. Yeah. It's all, I need an instant solution. This needed to be solved 30 seconds ago not 30 seconds from now 30 seconds ago yeah and the only way that i can possibly make up for the fact that it should have now been solved 15 seconds ago is to be a fucking time lord and get a tardis and that's basically <laughs> how you run around hell let loose like yeah. you need a tardis 
and everybody else is going, no, you are a TARDIS. You are a TARDIS, yeah. <laughs> like, stop fucking running off. We don't know where you're going, why you're going there, or if you, like, or even if we need to be going there. Like, no one knows. So yeah. slow it down, communicate with your team, even if you've seen the squirrel. The squirrel is either going to be there when you get there, or it's not. But even if you charge across the field, spraying a grease gun at fucking 70 metres at the squirrel, <laughs> it still might get away. The only difference is, now you're in the middle of a field, like a dick in the wind. And the rest of your squad is going, fuck me, he's dead, now we have to fight the enemy in a disadvantageous position, because they know we're here. Yeah. And the only reason they know we're here is cause squirrel. <laughs> okay. It's yeah. Like, no, I, I, I totally like get it. Impatience um, is is your <laughs> underlying issue. It, yes. That's the one that you have to address as a squad leader as well as a squad member. Although I do think you're getting better at it as a squad member. Yeah. The um. I I will agree. Uh. A lot of the issues stem from impatience and I'm, i i look for me. instant gratification a lot like it's not just yes it's not just hell let loose i want you to know that like no um, i understand it's a personality thing yeah but it's, and, but it's the, bad. the thing is <laughs> i'll say this in here because uh ryan and rob probably already know this uh, Erin probably hasn't been told it, but it won't surprise her. And even if Imatech tells it, well, he's not going to tell anybody. That's kind of the point. But I don't know. I'm recording, know. by the way. But I don't. Okay. I mean, are you posting the whole fucking thing? Uh, yeah, probably. All right. Well, then I won't say it. Well. <sighs> okay. I mean, you can like type it in the Ranger Regiment. It'd take too long. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> It'd take too long. Um, no, fuck it. I don't care. Okay. Um, I don't know nor care whether my approval or, or praise matters at all to you. And it, it do doesn't have to, right? Like, you, I don't expect you to sit there and go, no, no, it matters a shitload. I don't care. Like, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But okay. if you want instant gratification the way that we're trying to do shit, you will never get it from me. Yeah. You, I will not instantly gratify anybody for anything because, like, if especially not if they're actively seeking out the instant gratification. If they're running risks just because they want to achieve a thing, like, I guarantee you, even if you achieve the fucking thing, that my response is not going to be, I'm so glad you endangered the other 11 members of this platoon just <laughs> so you could get some praise. Well done. Please do more of that. It, like, at best, it's going to be me vaguely acknowledging that you did do a thing and that I am not completely furious that you did the thing. But more likely is going to be that I'm going to get up to your position whenever I get there and go, you're a twat. Yeah. Like, you will get instant okay. whatever the opposite of gratification is. Well, exactly. But I'm like, the point being that, like, I, it's, it's hard to describe because in for me i value the the team i value everybody else and yeah i get a little bit more immersed i don't act like they're permanently dead but if somebody gets downed it's a bad thing in my book because not only do the, does it mean that the squad's in a shit position and that we have to you know deal with the casualty but it also means that the person who's downed gets more frustrated the more times everybody gets downed the more frustrated they get when playing Hell Let Loose, if you get down to shitload in a short span of time, then that's basically you done with Hell Let Loose, and that's how most of us operate. Like, yeah. I've, I've been shot far too many times in quick succession. I hate this. I'm already, I'm disengaged with the game. So if people get shot in the squad or in the platoon, if we have multiple squads, um, I feel partly responsible for the fact that they got shot. Because they came in here to have fun with me and everybody else who's playing. And as a result, they're getting more and more frustrated and having less and less fun. So there is the element of being immersed and like, it's one of my men, god damn it. And there is the element of it's fucking tactically disadvantageous that now we have to fucking solve a new problem. But there's also the element of, oh, fuck, I don't want this person to stop playing with us 
today or even stop playing with us permanently because they've had you know so little fun and it's been so frustrating and, and, and angering that yeah. they're just like it's not worth it fuck it so like i think i i look at it that way anyway but i think anybody else who's going to play a squad leader <laughs> you need to remember this that my dad has always taught me it's not about you it's about them it's about the rest of your squad, the rest of your platoon. You matter the least out of all of it. The like it just okay. it, that I consider myself and I don't mean that as you as an individual, like I consider myself no, yeah. as a squad leader, I'm less important than everybody else. Like it's more important to me that everyone else is having fun. It's more important to me that everyone else feels like we're doing well. Like and you've, I think you've said this before, Cobler. Sometimes we lose games, but we had such a quote unquote good game that everybody still had a fucking blast, even though we lost. Yeah. I've had I'm several fine matches with that like that. Yeah, exactly. I'm fine with that shit. If, if everybody comes out of the game or the games at the end of a Saturday and goes, even if we lost all three of them and they're like, that was a shitload of fun. Like, I want to do that again. Like, that, like Wonk said when he left, he typed that, you know, he, he really enjoyed today. Yes, even Kursk. Like, good. That's what I want. I want everybody to enjoy themselves. But I know yeah. that, you know, by the end of the Kursk map, Brian, myself and Erin were certainly not... Uh, I don't think we were quite angry, but we were certainly not enjoying it anymore. Yeah, um, so the the thing the thing that some people fail to understand about Hell Let Loose, I mean, video games in general, but Hell Let Loose especially, it's not, like, it doesn't particularly matter whether or not you win. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but, like... No, I agree. If you, like... You get a 50% XP bonus if you win, right? And that's it. Like, the mm -hmm. whole team. But if you if you lose and you still had fun, then you still had a really good journey up until that loss. Like, if you're doing your squad tactics, like what we're planning on doing, Tom, and, you know, you do everything right, you get really tight spacing and like, good, uh, good engagements, and you get good objectives, but you just get outplayed, well, then you just got outplayed. And it's like, okay, so worst-case scenario, we lose, but we still had fun. Let's give it another shot the next game, you know? I, I do think a lot of the people that roll with us understand that. Yeah. Because, like, we've all said before, we've had really... We've had a lot of fun on games where we have lost. Um, but it's not in my opinion i don't know if you were saying this to counter what i was saying or not but i'm going to address it either way Go for like it. i i don't think it's a case of if people get killed a lot that they lose track of it's not about winning because i think most people in here know and they all agree that it isn't about winning but even if you're like you said if you lose but you did well and you had fun and you had good engagements and good squad tactics you have fun that's fine it doesn't matter that you lost i agree yeah but if you spend 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes of a 90 minute match getting killed over and over and over again and it feels like you're just spawning on a garrison yeah. trying to move and getting dropped. That isn't when people aren't frustrated that they're not winning. They aren't frustrated that they can't do anything. Yeah. Like that's what the problem is. And I think, you know, it, to me personally, as a squad leader, like every single time one of my guys goes down, there's a tiny little thought in my head that's like not keeping like a specific count but like it marks it on a board like that person's gone down and then like if they go down again it's like that person's gone down again and it's like that person's gone down a lot in the last five ten minutes and like sometimes and you see the morale it, drop afterwards. yeah you see that person start to get frustrated and then the psychology of it is as they get more frustrated they stop doing their job properly and they start to voice their frustration, which both means that because they're not doing their job properly anymore, there's more chance other people in the squad are going to get killed. There's uh, Because they're voicing that they're frustrated, there's more chance that other people in the squad are going to get frustrated. And before you know it, no one in the squad is having fun because one person had a patch of the match where they were just getting fucked over. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the, the, the long and short point of what I'm trying to get to is... Me, I as a squad leader, care when somebody 
jeopardizes the safety of the squad not because i'm like oh god jimmy's dead now we have to send him home in a box cobbler like <laughs> are you happy that jimmy's dead no i don't give a fuck that jimmy's dead like jimmy was just a model of like a world war ii soldier yeah but what i do give a fuck about is the player that was playing jimmy is now one step closer to being frustrated with the game and if it was avoidable that makes me not angry but like it frustrates me that like this was avoidable what and, a senseless and... waste of human life no not that. yeah no but i know i know, being, I know I you're know. being sarcastic but <laughs> like if it's a new person that makes the mistake i don't mind because they're new and we play it in a weird way and it the game itself plays weirdly it's not like any other fps so if it's a new person and they do something i'm perfectly willing to just be like listen this is why you don't do that because like now Imatex lying dead in a ditch and we have to get him up like don't like you should probably try doing it this way like i'm fine with that with new people but i get more and more frustrated with people who've been doing it with us for longer because it's like you should fucking know better yeah, and I, I remember distinctly that exact thing happening uh, on a Stalingrad match that I actually recorded. Um, I think it was like the first day of the new update. And like you were SL, Tom. I was in your squad. Uh, I'm pretty sure Ryan was too. And like someone, I forgot who like fucked up and you're like oh yeah that's fine just don't do that next time and then the exact mm -hmm. same mistake was made by someone else i forget who and you're like are you fucking kidding me you know like not not exactly that but you got well, much more yeah, but uh, I've definitely uh, animated said that before. like are you fucking kidding me like <laughs> because and it, it might be unfair and like you know it sounds really corny but like if I've been rolling with people for months on Hell Let Loose, this shit isn't new. We've been playing yeah. it the same way. Anyone who's been playing with me for has, however long I've been playing Hell Let Loose has been playing it the same way every single time. So, like, I kind of look at it like, you know, you're one of my soldiers. You're one of my rangers. You should fucking know how to do this by now. That's yeah. a stupid mistake to make. And yeah. yeah, I'm much more forgiving of people that are new to either the game or just new to the 33rd because it's like they don't fucking know any of this shit. Yeah. We've been doing it for months and they've only just turned up. And if they're going to stand up, I'm just going to be like, you might want to duck because you're probably going to attract a lot of attention and we don't want attention right now. Your, but your if you is fucking stand up, I'm, you bet your ass I'm going to be like, would you get your stupid face in the mud? <laughs> <laughs> Because if you don't put your stupid face in the mud, I will put your stupid face in the mud. <laughs> like, I, I shouldn't have to be telling people that have been rolling with us for the better part of half a year at this point how some of the basics works. Yeah. And it depends very much on who the person is, what mistake they've made, how long they've been rolling with us, and, you know, like, how frustrating the day has been. <laughs> like, like, my response varies based on all of those factors you probably catch a shitload of flack because you have been here for a long time. Yeah. You've been doing it with us for a long time. But also, you and I have had conversations about a lot of this stuff that other people in the outfit haven't had because they either didn't ask for it or I didn't say, hey, can we like talk about this thing? Yeah. But you and I have. So when I see you doing shit that I'm like, I have 100 fucking percent told you not to do that shit before. Like, I'm not gonna be like, maybe we shouldn't... No, 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 yeah. I, I'm i not complaining, you know, like... advertise where the squad is by standing on a fence, waving at the Germans. Like, no, I know you're not complaining, but, like, there's a reason that I do it differently, and I think yeah. it's a good leadership lesson, too, if you're gonna be a squad leader. If you have somebody who's new, you don't shout at them. Equally, I don't shout at blueberries for being stu... I might do that privately in stream. There's a very good clip of me fucking screaming at blueberries because they're thick as fuck but like it's not i don't shout at the blueberries themselves in most cases because it's like they don't know any better and they they haven't learned anything they haven't learned better so until you see I'm the score screen and they're like level 200 it's like come on guys well, but even then they know <laughs> the game their way they don't know the game our way yeah true the, the best example is you know when blueberries throw smoke on your position because they're trying to stop the enemy killing you and it's like do you understand how this works? 
because they can still see we can't see now and we have to shoot them no yeah. okay then maybe just don't throw smokes anymore <laughs> unless somebody else tells you to like but <laughs> fucking it's it's the same as that it's like i don't go overboard on blueberries i don't go overboard on new people yeah. because it's like they don't know if somebody's been rolling with us for a long time it's different it's like come on this shit is basic shit and you know the basic shit because you've been here long enough to learn the basic shit. Yeah. If you haven't learned it at this point, that isn't my fault. Yeah, and we can't just do our dessert before dinner. Like, there are plenty of people who'd love to do, like, split off, do, uh, like, one infantry and one recon, or, like, an infantry and an artillery, or other combined arms with, like, tanks. I think right. Luke put that best the other day. I don't know if you were here, but Luke said, like, uh, during the week, he thinks that, you know, if we're doing an ad hoc sort of hell let loose, like, he's like, it, it, during the week, people should be allowed to do tanks or recon or whatever they want, like, because we're just playing together as friends. Uh, but he said, but on a Saturday, like, the whole reason that everybody has turned up is to do 33rd stuff. So everybody should be willing to be infantry and shouldn't kick up a stink because they want to do artillery or tanks or recon instead because the whole point is that we all turned up to do the thing. Now, I'm not going to make that compulsory, but I think it's a good mindset to have. That, yeah. like, yeah, some people might, like, prefer to do snipers and hope that one day we can get enough people to come in where we can say to people, hey, do you want to run a recon team? I know you like running recon teams. Like... We've got enough people for a recon team as well as, you know, two squads or, you know, a tank and two squads or whatever. Like, I don't mind doing that, but, like, I've said it before. We've had these conversations where I've said, like, I don't think the answer is to do a six-man infantry squad and then yeah. a recon squad. The recon squad doesn't... Like, it's a different job. They can yeah. work in a way that supports the infantry, but, like... But at that point, they're no longer the a recon squad. They're just a supplemental infantry well, support. It depends, because I didn't mean it quite that way, but in the way that you meant there, yes, they're just a supp supplementary support unit. But I even meant, like, even if the recon team runs off on its own, but they're, like, reconning the field and making sure that they relay inf information back to the infantry squad specifically, like, feeding me a constant supply of information as a recon team is still useful, but, like, it's, it's not what we're aiming for because my squad, the infantry squad, is still operating as a single squad, just a single squad with a bit more info. Yeah. Like, info's great, but it doesn't help, like, the thing that we're trying to do, which is, like, a single infantry squad is only so effective in Hell Let Loose. But if you have two infantry squads, like I said when we were talking about jumping over the wall into that farm... Like, there was, like, upwards of 12, 15 guys coming over that wall, and there yeah. was one German squad in that farm. Like, they weren't... There was no way they were going to kill all 15 of us all yeah. coming over the wall at the same time. If we'd have gone in piecemeal, sure, they could have gunned us all down, but fucking everybody just went way over the wall, and the Germans were probably like, oh, bollocks, there's lots of them. Like, oh, Scheiser. Oh, Scheiser. Yeah. There's nothing <laughs> else you can do except try and take a couple with you while you get killed. And, yeah. and you know, stayed in Berlin. Should, should have stayed in Berlin. I think that's you know, that is that's where, that is where the core of the thirty third strength is going to come from. Is two infantry squads. That is what I want everybody. But it's got to be the goal. Like I think yeah. two infantry squads and a tank, or two infantry squads and an artillery gun. That would be probably able to dominate games. But that's more like. Two infantry squads and then the icing on the cake. We need to build two infantry squads that can function cohesively. First yeah, exactly. Two infantry squads and an artillery piece, or two infantry squads and a tank, especially because three people in the tank. At that point, you're looking at 15 people, and that's more than a quarter of a circle. Exactly. And you have yeah. that, that working cohesive and coordinated, you're going to stomp over most enemies. Exactly. So that's if you imagine you got two infantry squads ready to assault a position, and you got me and Rob fucking shelling it with artillery before you go in, like they're mm -hmm. not going to stand up. Like, exactly. Tom would let us be on the artillery base when he's got two squads running. But even like, even with, if you take that down to one infantry squad and an artillery gun, 
yeah, the artillery gun softening it up is a good thing. But if six guys come over the wall and there happens to be a ge few Germans that survived, or maybe there's a German squad that wasn't quite where you were shelling, like, them pouring fire onto six guys, like, if a six-man squad takes casualties, it very rapidly becomes a massive fucking issue. Mm -hmm. If 12 guys take two casualties, there's still fucking 10 dudes coming. Like... Yeah. Fucking and and it you know it's like when we did the the drill where we turned in line and we I said right suppress and advance like the volume of fire coming from nine people in a line shooting at the same thing was pretty fucking phenomenal, but like if you know and nine would still be if two squads went over two full squads went over the wall and took three casualties, but if a six man infantry squad takes three casualties, there's now only three of you left. And not only are you trying to suppress the enemy position, but it depends on who the three are left. Like, one of them might well be the medic, which who only has a carbine. It could be, you know, two people with garands, which can't fire all that fast. If you have nine fucking garands, even if you don't have an automatic weapon, nine garands firing at one thing is a lot of bullets. Three garands firing at one car thing. Nine car 98s is a lot of bullets. For fire yeah, weapons. fucking even the bolt actions, if it was just like, boom, 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 pop, 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 pop. Like, no one's going to want to stand in front of nine car 98s firing volley fire at them. 45 like, bullets -ish a clip if with nine cars. 25 bullets a clip. 45. 45, or okay. Nine. Okay, see? So if nine people with car 98 start shooting the same thing, that's 45 bullets that are fi getting fired at that, which I can't do the actual math, but like I know there's a lot more than 45 bullets in a machine gun and it probably fires 45 bullets a lot quicker than nine guys with rifles, but you're talking more or less the same level of firepower as a machine gun, yeah. which is not bad for people that have rifles. And the rifles hit harder than the MGs do. That too. Um, but anyway, like, I guess my point is that, like, you know, I want anyone who is a squad leader to focus on leadership, which means your squad needs to trust you, you need to communicate, like, slow it down. Don't just go for the squirrel, because the squirrel is not tactically important, and you could well lead your squad or the whole platoon into a situation that is like a, a fucking shit show you could lead somebody in you could lead the platoon into a clusterfuck because you score because you saw a squirrel I, like, I saw a squirrel and the outcome is absolutely nuts that, that definitely needs to go on sentences that have never been said before this squirrel is not tactically important <laughs> <laughs> well it's not like nine times out of ten whatever that was the random german that you saw running across a field like Sometimes it's important, but if he was running away from you and he doesn't know you're there, then it, it's not tactically important. If there's six of them, then maybe, because you could potentially ambush a whole fucking squad and wipe them out. But even then, if they're running away from you, depends on what job you're doing, but, like, it's not that important to shoot people. Like, it's more important in Hell Let Loose to take out their OPs, take out their garrisons, overrun their defensive positions, like... Killing people is a means to an end in Hell Let Loose. It's yeah. not the the end. Like There's it's not no battlefield. tickets. You can't win by attrition by killing. Exactly. People. You could yeah. probably you could potentially set up the if, if you had fifty guys that were incredible. You could set up the most incredible defense around one point in uh fucking I don't know warfare mode. Right. Let's say you lost the midpoint at the beginning of the game, but then you get your fifty guys around the second point. And you form this impenetrable defense. And when you tot up the kills, you've literally killed 10,000 enemies. Like they were just respawning so quickly and getting gunned down. But you never mo moved off of that second point. Guess who wins? Still not you. Your yeah. team killed 10,000 enemies and you're still lost. Yeah. Because it does, and it's one of it's the reason that I enjoy Hell Let Loose. It's the thing that draws me to this game is that it's not about tickets, it's not about kills, it is about teamwork, coordination, and tactics. Yeah. So, as a squad leader, I want that to be your focus, is just teamwork, tactics, 
trust, communication and are my guys having fun? Not are my guys three fields behind me trying to chase after me and going, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I think... I think what you said before, Tom, that... Like, just focusing on that one thing and improving it, which is... Like, communicating better and being more cohesive like if I can do that I I'm confident I can do anything because right now that's the biggest challenge for me and just focusing on that one thing and potentially fixing it is not only is it an exciting prospect but you know like again if I can do that I, I feel like I can do anything so Good. um and, yeah, like, and on the flip side of that, Tom, like, if you ever wanted to learn how to tank or how to be a commander, I would absolutely love to, like, teach you all about that. But I know, I know that your prerogative right now is going to be focusing on, like, the infantry aspect and squad leading, mm -hmm. and I think that's awesome. But I know that someday... Like, when all of the squad leads who, uh, who are squad leads and regularly do it are comfortable and we're all having fun and you can, like, take a few minutes to go, okay, well, this is all squared away. What else can we do? Ah, maybe I'll try being commander. Then that's when I want you to come talk to me because I can tell you how to be a commander. So... I mean... Uh, in all honesty, I doubt that I will ever get to that point because my fascination with with squad tactics and and, and uh, squad leadership is because I have long had a fascination with uh, NCOs in the military, yeah. and even though I've, as I've grown up, I've developed more of an appreciation for the officers in charge. Um, like it still hasn't replaced that affinity and that love for the role that NCOs play, um, and and like in all honesty, so far I don't think I want to command on Hell Let Loose. Even if we get to the point where we have multiple people who squad lead regularly, okay. um, I'll either be one of those squad leaders or I'll be like, awesome, now I can finally level some classes that aren't fucking squad leader. Okay, uh, I mean, fair I don't enough, think honestly. I'm gonna be like, I don't think I want to command. Like, uh, maybe if we ever ended up with a full 50 people from the 33rd in a server, I'd go commander, because it would be fucking awesome to oh, be like, I know yeah. everybody is super capable here, and I know that they're gonna pay attention and listen. But I, I don't think I'm interested in learning how to command. I I admire the people who do do command, including yourself. Um, because I think it's a lot of the time it's a thankless job, um, but it's it's not for me. I prefer to be at that tactical level. I prefer to be in the thick of it. I prefer to be shouting at people, yeah. whether it's positive reinforcement or telling them they're a twat. Um, that's just where I prefer to be. I like how Tom's mastered the art of both positive and negative reinforcement with the single sentence, you're a twat. <laughs> yes. Yeah, just perfect blending of those two. <laughs> right, I'm like, gonna Tom go can make that at you, and it depends entirely on what preceded it, whether it's positive or negative. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, it probably does. But like, you could fucking dive over a wall, Rambo three guys, and Tom would go, "You fucking twat!" And the fact that you killed them means it's good. But you could also get shot in the face doing something stupid and you'll still hear you fucking yeah, twat you chase the squirrel <laughs> exactly the squirrel <laughs> that is not tactically important <laughs> I'm not going to be in your squad very much Cobbler but anytime I see you doing that shit I'm just going to be like oh, the yeah, squirrel is not tactically out. important <laughs> Cobbler's war name is now squirrel uh, it's better than Steeler my this god not much better though that's how you earn a war name, Cobbler, so it, that probably is your war name. <laughs> Jesus. Right, 
Um, I'm going to yeah. go make food because uh, I still haven't made food. Is. I am one commando. And yeah, it's 2 p.m. over here, and I got up at 6 a.m., and I haven't eaten breakfast yet, so go figure. Go get yourself some breakfast. All right, well, I just wanted to say, like, I had a lot of it? fucking fun today, and Thank I just want to say thanks for everything. Like, for those of you who are in my squad, thank you for tolerating me and my shenanigans. <laughs> Um, it was challenging, but you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> um, Tom, thank you for giving me the opportunity to be squad lead with you. Uh, it is an honor and a pleasure, sir. You're very welcome. All right. And uh, I will catch you guys around. See you around, buddy. All right. Have a good one.